Hello everyone. We are live. Wow. Hello. <laughs> this is not Hello. stressful at all. Not no. even a tiny bit. <laughs> it's, it's you know completely completely smooth. You know, everything is fine. I mean, the dog is sleeping. Well, yes. if if the dog is sleeping, it means it cannot be that bad for anyone. So no, um, no, no, no. I mean, I'm projecting good energy, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, if the dog is quiet, probably I'm also <clears throat> not nervous at all, right? <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, so uh, this so is our first uh, stream ever. I will do a brief introduction just to get everyone on the same page about what we're trying to do today. Uh, mm -hmm. What are our goals? We don't really have an uh, end time set yet, but I would like to get some things done today, which I think is going to be a couple of hours, maybe mm -hmm. three, I don't know, something yeah. like that. Um, so I would like to just uh, ideally finish just in time for dinner, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's important. Also, it's a holiday today in Italy, so I, I feel yeah. like I deserve to have my dinner on time. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, that's correct. Um... So, uh, first of all, goes without saying, uh, as we have mentioned already, um, I have very, very little experience with Compose. Uh, I, I think Ivan has very, very little experience with Compose as well. Yeah, uh, as far like as I in... know no no experience like okay, that's cool. that's the, how, how little it is <laughs> i i have played around a very little bit with compose in the early days about a year and a half ago uh and uh, i've played a bit with uh compose for desktop obviously uh <laughs> at the end of last year i think a bunch of things have changed in the meantime in the apis uh, so I will probably be a bit stumped by even by things that I theoretically already know. Uh, I expect that. And uh, this means that <laughs> I will have um, I will have on uh, on speed dial a, um, a Firefox page that I can uh, that I can use uh, to get the documentation <laughs> yes. because, well, I mean, honestly, I I think neither of us can say uh, that we know everything about <laughs> Compose that there is to know. So um, be, please bear with us. Uh, but kind of the point of this stream is also, also to show people that it's okay not to know things. Uh, oh, yeah. Even people that have uh, quite a lot of experience developing for Android or anything really uh, do need to look up the documentation because you don't get born knowing things already you need to learn them and it's fine to get stuck i'm sure we will get stuck uh, yeah, it's sure. fine to ask for help i'm sure we will have to uh, and uh, it's okay to look up things on stack overflow on the documentation and whatever so um, that was the the main uh, warning that is going to go with this screen. Uh, there's going to be yeah. probably swearing because, I mean, frustration. To be honest, right? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was just telling even before we started streaming that um, because I'm using my Windows computer, I have a gaming keyboard on my Windows computer, uh, which is yes. very clacky. So you're going to hear clacking. Well, it's mechanical, it's not clacky, but it, it's very noisy, but also has the big problem that like a good MacBook keyboard, uh, it, if you press the space bar, oftentimes it puts two or three spaces instead of one. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very annoyed at that because that's what <laughs> happens to me every day when I work. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be like a um, real work experience for you. like. Yeah. Uh, uh, let, let's see how Sebastiano works for JetBrains. <laughs> it's like very ha hating his keyboard, basically. Yeah, I mean, I, I promise this is pretty much the same as pairing with me, with me when I'm working. Um, so because I'm, like there's no point in pretending that I don't swear. There's no point in pretending I don't look up documentation. That would be 
insincere yeah, no, and uh, no, 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 yeah we don't we that's... don't like that so what are we doing our goal is to create uh, an application for uh, um, digital well-being it's something that i i was thinking about a couple of weeks ago um because it's something that i feel i need the idea is that when i'm working i don't want to get people texting me on whatsapp or on telegram and distracting me i don't want to get like email notifications i don't want that stuff i want to focus on what i'm doing at that point but at the same time that doesn't mean that i don't want any notification ever i might want some notifications say for example because uh, i'm waiting to hear for a friend uh, uh, from a friend uh, about something that we are organizing that might be time sensitive or i want to get notifications from work obviously while i'm working um, i might want to um, to make sure that um, some contacts always come through others don't some apps always come through others don't uh, and not just filtering out the notifications so hiding them but um, kind of bundling them up and either presenting them all together at a later time so say every one uh, once every hour or a couple of hours or something like that or uh, I want to be um, to be able to just review in the app all the notifications that have been uh, hidden from me. Uh, even if, for example, I, I want to take a break a bit earlier, uh, then I might, I don't know, just check if there's anything urgent that I need to reply to, uh, but the notifications are still hidden. Now, I know that at least some of this stuff is possible, is feasible. I am using an app that does something along those lines on my phone. Uh, but I'm very unhappy with it because um, it's very rudimentary and it doesn't hide the notification. It doesn't snooze them. It, it entirely dismisses them. Uh, so the only way I have to recover the notifications is inside of the app, which has a very basic design that doesn't make notifications clear. Uh, plus you miss on all the notification shade goodies that you get in Android. So I did take a look at the notification service documentation before deciding that this was the idea that I wanted to go with. And uh, it should be possible, I think, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably one way to know. Worst case scenario, we'll have on try. this project. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. I mean, we, we, it, 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 it's it going to be a learning experience, right? It's yes. more like a exp exp more on the, on, the, on the line experience is what you get when you get you don't get what you want, right? <laughs> That's yeah, experience, yeah. basically. There's, there's <laughs> the important thing is we look at this as a learning experience, regardless yeah. of whether we achieve the result. But obviously, it would be much nicer if we did achieve the result. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The well, app... but even if we cannot build the notification thing, we will probably build a nice setting UI <laughs> in Compose for something that we cannot build. I mean, yeah. I mean, still, worst case still, scenario, still, we'll have a list of notifications built in Compose. Uh, and then the, yeah. the, the core functionality is not going to be there, but that's yeah. going to be there. Yeah. Uh, but and worst case settings, scenario, that's still uh, setting, a sample. Setting screen, <laughs> setting screens. Yeah. Also, we can do the about screen. <laughs> you know? We can do a splash uh, screen. <laughs> a splash screen. You know, we can, we can do any number of unused, useless screens. Um, but yeah, still, still, we're going to learn Compose. Yeah, and uh, this is, uh, I was talking with, uh, someone said no, uh, Mario said no splash screen. <laughs> no splash screen. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. <laughs> so Mario we we have happy. it for free now. <laughs> yeah, you will be happy to know that with the uh, Android S, you actually get sort of a splash screen uh, already. Um, you can customize it a bit, but uh, it's not... Uh, it's not necessarily uh, as flexible as you, you'd think. And I know some apps will have the problem where the, the OS sh shows a splash screen for them 
and then they show their own splash screen, which is going to be fun. Yeah. Uh, but not yeah. our problem <laughs> <That's>, uh... because <laughs> uh, this is not going to be like it's something that we can look at maybe in a separate stream just to test, play with yeah. it, see how it works. I have no idea. I've just seen that it exists. And I've, I've played but we with the... We also have the emulator with the preview, right? Yes. Uh, yes Android the 12 emulator preview, so that event. we will be using uh, is the Android S emulator. So we will see that in action, but... In terms of <laughs> because why not? And, yeah. <laughs> why, why would you use an emulator that, like hey, is stable? You know, why, why not? Why bother? Yeah, well, why let's, not? Use the, <laughs> let's use the preview one. <laughs> I, I think uh, there are... This is, this is some... such a good idea. There are some new APIs in Android S for the notification service. So that's why I was thinking it might be interesting to see if this works or it doesn't work. Um, I don't even remember what they are. I know there are some. <laughs> uh, are they going to yeah. be useful? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, Mario, Mario says what could go possibly wrong, right? Uh, <laughs> that's the everything. That's the end. But yeah, it's, no, easy, I mean... it's easy to start another emulator if need be. Um, uh, yeah, that's, but that's the, the, the idea is that we will be making this app open source. Obviously, there's no point in streaming the code <laughs> and then making it closed source. <laughs> and hiding it. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> that's my code. It's private. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if it actually ends up working, we'll put it on the Play Store. Uh, and on the Amazon App Store, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Ciao, yeah. Mario. <laughs> um, I mean, if but... somebody wants, you know, I mean, if we have some, you know, <laughs> Mario is very happy with it. Uh, <laughs> obviously. For, obviously is. for the glory. Um, uh, so. Yeah, the, the code uh, is not published yet because there is no code yet. Uh, I will create the repository probably later after the streaming or tomorrow, just uploading where we are at. Uh, it's going to be on my GitHub. Uh, follow us on the Twitter account and uh, or on the Telegram account. If you want, we will post the link there once it's um, it's released. Well, I, released. Them, yeah. I don't think there's going to be any military grade trade secrets in the code anyway but uh, just in case as a reference. yeah but it can be useful but, yeah. yeah no no but the idea is that it's gonna be something that we build from scratch with all the, i mean all the uncertainty and uh, incremental design that comes from something built like this so it, it will be also a nice exercise for you know if you yeah. want to approach compose you, like you us said design because, you said design like we have a design. We don't have a design. We're yeah, just no, gonna I mean, improvise I, the shit out of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm I'm be, I'm being very uh, like uh, positive. You know, the the idea of. But uh, jokes aside, uh, most of the stuff that I uh, saw about Jetpack Compose in the past, when I try to start working, you know, learning Compose, um, it was most of. Okay, I, I would just want the hello world kind of thing, just to have an idea how, you know, the basic stuff works. And either you really get the hello world, that it's basically what you have on screen, or you have the Taj Mahal, super fancy, everything inside. <laughs> uh, there, there, there was nothing in between. The, the whole spectrum was missing. Either it's like, okay, it's going to take me a minute to write, or, oh, yeah, I've been working on this for six months. And I was like, yeah. And then th th also the frustration from that, um, you know, made probably the, the, this project possible because... I realized that I won't be able to learn Compose by myself out of frustration. Um, so we, when, when Seb had the idea, why don't we try to build something with Compose and um, live streaming our uh, ignorance? <laughs> uh, I was like, yeah, why not? I mean, uh, we, uh, I would just look. We are just looking for more ways to embarrass ourselves so uh, this is this is going to be a, a nice journey that's and yeah and that's the that's the real that's the real thing yeah, yeah jokes aside you, you 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 say yeah that's what we do but i mean 
that's actually what we do. You, we don't. We start at we don't know shit, and then you build a tiny thing, you know, a little step, and then you you move forward, learning more stuff, and then eventually you get probably a bit more confident, a bit proficient with what you do. But that's also the the bad part of what we do because from the outside a lot of people especially you know junior developers if, if you are starting you look up at, at people and you know it looks like they know everything you know that they, they are always working with the lady school stuff but you never see the fact that we sucked big time you know before we we got there somehow so this experiment is that process okay we we want to make it clear that if we have been doing this for like 10 years now still there are like a shit tons of stuff that we don't know like every every single day there there is no 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 day there is not a single day that i don't look something up on google search when i work like never never and i want to make it clear because we need to we need to show this you know people need to to know that it's okay that you don't know everything okay but you want to learn and that's the mindset that we want to um to give you the idea that okay well i don't know i can learn okay i can i can read so <laughs> fuck it. i'm gonna I'm just gonna learn it it's gonna take time it's gonna probably take a bit of uh Effort, blood, and swearing, and sweat. But yeah, I eventually like the we order. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> so swearing is before sweating. <laughs> yeah, because you know that's the, because you know that this gonna. Uh, I think that, and then you start sweating. So <laughs> that's the the specific order. Um, but jokes aside, um, shall we get going? We have been. Yapping yes. away for like 20 minutes at this point, and I yeah, think people might yeah, be a bit yeah. bored of us talking oh, come on, shit like Sunday. we always do. It's Sunday, they're just gonna give us shit on, on the chat, so no problem there. I'm, I'm actually uh, taking care of the, the chat. I have, a, I have a nice Samsung here with the chat, so I'm also gonna be able to reply. Feel free, just to give you, um, if some of you, uh, Watching the stream, it's is not uh, you are not on the couch at the moment, but you are in front of a computer. Uh, feel free to send Stack Overflow links <laughs> in the chat if you think that <clears throat> you can help. If you if we are stuck or if we are looking at something on Stack Overflow that is not specifically what. You know, it's useful for us in the moment, and you find something that is better. If you some, just drop a link there. We were gonna try to uh, check it out as we go, um, and w we are building this thing live, but we are also building this thing with you. So yes, it's two people um, talking and, and and coding, but it's it's a more of us uh, playing around. So it's more like a mob programming kind of thing feel free to help no problem okie doke uh, <clears throat> so let's try it so we, what do we want to build first we want to build uh i want to I, I would like to say the first thing that we need to be building is uh the the actual uh notification listener service because without that okay. we, we don't have anything to show so i would be happy if by to by the end of the stream today we can show the notifications that have appeared on the device inside of our app in a very simple crude list what do you think okay. that's achievable um yeah i mean the, i will uh yes i want to see something on the stream i don't know if we will uh, be able to get the data right away from the notification service um, I, that, I i actually how does it work i actually have a trick which is well okay first of all let me switch to yes sharing my screen so now you can see what i see um mm -hmm. 
Okay, so notification listener service is the thing that we will have to use. Now we're not gonna go and look at the documentation. I mean, I've, I've looked at it a bit already uh, when I was trying to figure out whether the whole idea was feasible in the first place. Uh, but mm -hmm. what I want to do is tell you that there is a very interesting thing which is called uh, G digital well-being experiments, something uh, like that. <clears throat> okay. Yes, this thing. I remember so, the digital well-being thing. Yeah, they, they've made some experiments like miniature apps uh, and physical okay. experiences thing. And one of them is particularly interesting. Now, obviously, I need to find it. Android experience. Android experiments. Okay. What's do we have? Um, there was something. There was a uh, robot. No, but wait. No, no, no. <clears throat> I, I done goofed. That was the wrong thing. It's in the digital well-being. There is something in the uh, applications. Something, something, something. I think I've seen. Screen stopwatch. Nope. Yeah, but it's not that one. Okay, this one. So there is a GitHub repository that is Google Creative Lab slash Digital Wellbeing Experiments Toolkit that mm -hmm. contains a bunch <laughs> of uh, applications uh, that okay. are useful to us. And if you look at what is there, there's one that is uh -huh. named notifications. In an mm -hmm. way. Now, code is a bit old, but should still work. Oh. I mean, yeah. And I was looking at this because um, this is essentially what we want to build today, the, the list of the yeah. notifications. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we can take an example from here in case we're desperate. But the thing that I was interested in was this. Uh, we're going to need this, which is a notification generator that just spams notification periodically so we can check oh. okay. um, whether stuff works for us. So, <clears throat> example three, notification generator. This example is a simple notification generator. Okay. It's a background service and sends notification, uh, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. I think, I don't, I don't think <clears throat> there's much uh, in the way of actual APKs. No, there's no APKs, but what I can no, do, but you can... I can clone this. So VCS, uh, wait, where is it? I never remember. Import to... Get from version control. Oh. There it is. This, okay. Good. So I'm just gonna get the repository in a new window. I don't particularly so there... need this. Um, or whatever. Yes, but just to give you an idea to the, the people in the chat, just to, to restate the the project because somebody is asking. <clears throat> sure, go for it. We, we want to build um, um, sort of a bundler for notification. So it's something that is a bit different from the do not disturb thing that you know the, the phone never rings. Uh, we want to build something where we can pick, for instance, um, a specific app that can ring, a <laughs> specific person on your contact list that can ring, uh, or and uh, we can we want to bundle the notifications to to have them um, all together every every hour, for instance. So you know you you're just having a, you know that for one hour you don't want to get disturbed. To you turn on the app. And for one hour, you just get a bit of silence, but you also have the important messages that come through. Um, and in one hour, you, you're going to get just one notification. You check the notification and all the notifications are there. So it's more like, uh, yeah, it's, it's on the well-being, uh, digital well-being kind of idea. Um, and it's more, it's more than just do not disturb. It's more like a leave leave me leave me quiet for a bit kind of thing, you know. So you want that you want to get a few message from your girlfriend, 
but you know you want to get your message from your boss but you don't want to get the message from everybody and yeah and, and then just you want them in a in a nice way all together so that's uh that's the idea yeah in the meantime i'm just uh trying to run the app uh running it from the root project didn't seem to work so i'm, I'm just uh open the sub project there and um, we, we're looking at gradle as <laughs> his <is> life <laughs> most of the time <laughs> well I, well but at least you have the nyan cat so the thing wow gradle 3.5 oh yeah the project the is three years old. The, this, pro the this project is two, years, two old. years old and it's using like a 16 year old yeah. gradle version <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I was like, uh, the, Not, that version uh... of Gradle can drive. I'm, I'm, okay, <laughs> probably but... the US can also drink. So where it's where is weird. it coming? From? It's using 5.4. I don't know why it was getting 3.5. No, 3. I... oh, no, no, no. I, I saw 3.5. I, I, I definitely saw 3.5 there. There is something weird oh, but... going on. Yeah. But oh. uh, if it runs, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, maybe fair. it was the the Android the uh, Android Gradle plugin AGP that was three point mm. five. That is actually possible. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, it can definitely be upgraded. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not you, going you, to. you want to? Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, you're not that brave. The, the, um, the thing is, I don't want to spend the next two hours just trying to make it run again. So yeah, <laughs> fair enough. For now, that's if it right. runs like it is, that's fine. This is just a, a utility that we need, but it's definitely not something. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I was just looking at the chat. No, uh, Compose for Android does not work on IntelliJ yet, unfortunately. Yeah. Otherwise, we would be using IntelliJ and Code with Me, uh, which is great yeah. for pairing. But unfortunately, yeah. uh, we need to use Android Studio for now because uh, could, um, Compose is uh, version gated to that. Okay, it's yeah, I mean, running. It's gonna come. It's gonna... So, oh, it's running. <clears throat> yeah, it's so, running. I am not is going it to running start on the emulator. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's running on the emulator. Okay. I don't want to start it yet because I think it would be pointless to have like a gazillion notifications. Uh, until we can actually listen to them. So I th it's time to go back to our application. <clears throat> yes. So um, what do we want to do? Do we want to look at the same kind of example that we got from the notification generator or you want to do it from scratch? Um, I want to do it from I mean, scratch the service. It's, a, it's a bit more realistic in, in the sense that you don't always get to copy from someone else. So oh, I yeah, want to see how sure. difficult it is to work with the um, notification, notification listener just looking yeah. at the documentation. Okay, <clears throat> so what do we do? Uh, let's see. Do we need something in the manifest? To extend this class, you must declare yes. the service in your manifest with the bind notification listener service permission and include an intent filter with yeah. service interface action. Uh, sure. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Sounds like a job yeah. for a copy paste. Yeah, let's copy paste. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I guess it's outside. Yeah, there. This here, uh, we don't have that, uh, but we can create label. this. Uh, I spy your notifications. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it's also legit. the evil. It, it's also the evil, uh, the evil Twitch. Okay, I get it. Uh, I, I think, for what I remember reading uh, when I skimmed the documentation, this stuff is actually new in uh, Android S, so Android 12. Uh, I have uh -huh. no clue what this does. Uh, yeah, of course. And I, what, I what's actually a... will comment it out for you now because to... I don't think it's mandatory to have it. So. For the old versions, you mean? Yeah, I think it's yeah. fine. Okay, let's uh, Worst let's case try. scenario is gonna complain, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, then, uh, okay. Uh, and create... I guess you need a uh, class. Yeah. Yes, uh, I shall create Alt this. Alt enter. Alt enter driven development as usual. Notification listener service. Okay. So on create, on bind, what do we have? On start, it's a service. What uh, do we have there? 
Wait, why is Java? Oh, yeah, sorry, you're right. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, okay. I don't know. Okay. But. Whatever. Okay, that was, that was cool. Yeah. Okay, so you see, you see the the power the power of pair programming, <laughs> right? Oh shit. Okay. Uh... What do we have? I guess it's a service. There's on start something, right? On start command. How does? Yeah. But I don't know if the. Let's see what we have. So context wrapper, nah. Uh, there is on on something. Notification listener service. Okay. So there unbind, is on destroy. Our notification posted, on notification removed, on listener connected, disconnected, blah, 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 blah. No, no, on start. Yeah, a service has a, on start for sure. So I guess, I guess that, uh, I'm not sure we need on bind. I think we might need like on connected no? or on, on disconnected, most likely, but we're going to look at the documentation. I'm just going to try yeah. and figure out what they do um these ones we're gonna need at least one of these i don't think we care about the ranking map so we'll probably go for the simpler version uh what does this oh this is the reason i don't care um then there is ranking update we don't care listener hints changed what does this do Implement this method to be identified when the listener hints change. Of course. <laughs> of Thank course, you. right? <laughs> Gets uh, yeah, that's, that's why. Right. In the current state. The current state may differ from the requested state if the hint represents state shared across all listeners or a feature the notification host does not support or refuses to grant. I, I am still clueless about what this is, but uh, I guess we'll use it. We'll figure out if we need it when we need it <laughs> increment incremental design you see i yeah. told you uh silent status bar icons visibility i don't know if we need this when the I behavior of silent notifications no nah, don't care uh, notification channels we don't care interruptions filter changed i think this will probably be maybe be interesting but maybe not i think this is the do not disturb um Thing. when notifications are allowed yeah okay so this would tell mm -hmm. us when do not disturb is enabled or disabled uh but, but probably don't need it too much oh they are they are asking seb uh you can you increase the font please uh sure uh font no wait appearance uh 16 is this big enough okay uh probably gonna... yeah i guess in the editor yeah yeah uh, i'm gonna make this one 16 as well okay should be a bit better now uh as for the documentation it's fairly big so i think that's fine yeah. that's okay okay so uh we were saying that we want to probably implement something like on listener connected mm -hmm. uh, but how do we run the service is just does it start it yeah, just starts the system starts because i <clears throat> was the last time i used it with the activity you know that kind of foreground service no, so i'm just, not uh, you you just need to register it and uh, if the in the manifest enables it. it in the settings uh then mm -hmm. uh you can uh you get just get stuff done to you i think I think okay. probably we'll find out. But pro from a, <laughs> but from a, yeah, from a privacy point of view, if we are able to read every notification, how come every other app can read every notification? How does it work? Uh, what do you mean? I, can, um, uh, I mean, notifications are they public? Like uh, every app can. Notifications, they are public, but you need the user to explicitly enable your app for access. It's not like okay. there is. You, you specifically need to send the user to the system settings to the page where you ah, can turn okay. on notification access for your app. Okay, that makes sense because so, I was like, okay, this seems off. How does it work? Uh, I don't know if you've ever okay. used like a smartwatch or something like that. Then the companion app has doing, is ah, doing the same thing. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Xiaomi 
Me Band probably also does that. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah, they do. Yeah. Probably didn't mm-hmm. send them to China, but whatever. Yeah, but it, I mean, who cares? China, US. Why do you keep I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're giving me, you're giving me PTSD, man. Stop doing that. It's because this was okay. created in Java, and my brain still hasn't gone over that. I don't know. I think yeah, it's the first yeah, time sure. I use a semicolon in four years, <laughs> <laughs> and obviously it has to happen oh. on the stream. <laughs> Live. Well, I right. mean, it's sixteen people. It's it's sixteen people just looking at you. So shame They're on judging you. Judging me, I know that. Uh, <laughs> judging you all the time. You see, I mean, this is just uh, the. If you needed proof that you can work and apply at JetBrains, you know. <laughs> you can surely is, apply on is... my team. <laughs> yeah. But unfortunately, we're not hiring. Right. So there's there's this small Ouch. problem <laughs> but well, if we like, were you, hiring, like you <laughs> yeah um, come on i was just checking the documentation if he said anything important like the service should wait for an only listener connected okay request rebind i don't no. know why you would need to do that uh, does it say no but it's no will fail for listeners that are not being granted the permission by the user Okay, whatever. Yeah, let's just go. Okay, okay, okay. I think that should be enough. Uh, We will probably need in our uh, UI to have at some point like an onboarding where you tell the users, hey, uh, go and enable the thing because otherwise this is not going to do anything. But, yeah, but you get, that's the the first thing that we can start building in uh, Compose, like yeah. a button to yeah, dust thing. we need to figure out what is the intent to open that, but I'm sure we'll find it easily enough. Yeah, but I'm I'm more concerned about how I build the button and put a click listener on it oh, <laughs> right right now. That's easy. I can do that. That's fine. <laughs> okay, that's um, perfect. Okay. okay, so so do you um, want to print something? Just out of curiosity to know I... if the thing is connected or disconnected. Just when we get the connected, yeah, do you we want can... to? We something? should probably add like timber or something. Uh... Yeah, let's let's go. Let's add timber. Oops. Oh, something that we wanted to uh, to show. Uh, Sebastiano insisted to build the um, the to have the build gradle files in kotlin so you will see that uh, our build gradle <laughs> is a kts file uh, because you know we we also want to move in the direction where the build gradle files are uh, kts uh, kotlin files instead of groovy um, old fashioned files i, I and, mean Kotlin and it's better than only to, Yeah, that's that's for sure. But you know, uh, it it took us two hours. <laughs> yeah, but because there was a so, weird bug with Android so, Studio where oh, okay. the the create okay. new so project we, we, wizard kind of fails in a spectacular way if you have the setting enabled, which is uh, and sure, where is it? Where the hell is it? On set. This At one. The bottom, if you have here, this one selected, this one. enabled, which you always should if you're using Git, uh, then yeah. th- that fails horribly. But now we don't need it anymore, so it's fine. He said before yeah. destroying so, everything. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But just to give to, to give a bit of context, uh, so if you ever find yourself in a situation where the wizard to build a new Android project or even the new activity with it was like a, no it was the new Android project yeah wizard but I think it's uh, in and general, if fails, any wizard might have that problem I don't know yeah well we tried with this one we tried uh, to build a compose application and uh, just an Android application uh, the wizard failed to properly create a lot of files like the the whole thing didn't didn't build. It was not able even to to sync. Um, try to check that setting, and if you have the ensure new line thing, disable it, 
and try to create the project again. It should work. And I guess you have a typo. Bundle no, or bundle. Not a bun- typo. That's not a typo? Sure. <laughs> so then then add it. Then add it to the the dictionary. Okay. So, mom, okay. Fine, now it's not a typo. Fine, shut up. No, it's not it's not mom. It's not mom. It's not that we are we want to show quality code, okay? So we don't want warnings <laughs> or any time. I mean, okay, we want it's to just, show quality just code sure. and Android Studio thinks that the application is not used and I'm like, oh, fuck off. Oh. Yeah, we are just going to suppress. Yes, and because we want I, quality, we leave actually, a message why it's declared in the in the method. But we were discussing this with, uh, with a few students uh, a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I specifically remember that you didn't get the warning in the past. He was able, Andre Studio was able to figure out that you were using the the class in the in the in the manifest. I'm, I'm sure, quite sure that it was that there. This is a bug. That is like a regression okay. because okay. I'm quite sure because it used to have in the gutter here. It used to have also the icon the, that would the, bring you to the declaration yeah. in the manifest. Like if you do for an activity yeah, like so this, think, right? Yeah. But it doesn't do it, yeah, so yeah, I think yeah, that's, that's a bug in Studio. Yeah, so I'm uh, sure it's supposed to. I don't know if it still well, it used to, 100. I don't know if it, whatever. <laughs> anyway, Mark, Mark in, on the chat is is telling you uh, that probably this is this is actually something that you want to build to mute him. <laughs> so you want just to get rid of this modification. No, probably, Mark, you are one of the people that he wants, you know, to be able to, to notify him. So how, <laughs> how else do I get the pictures of Lego that he sends, which I love? He's assembling yeah. a very nice yeah. Lego set and I get the not- I, I was I'm looking forward to those notifications, you know. Nice. You see, you see. Um, OK, so you, you want you want to shut down Hadi. <laughs> no, 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 no. If he writes for work, oh, okay. no. <laughs> okay, if he okay, trolls okay. on Twitter, then it's different. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair okay, enough. so um, he's technically oh, my Randy. boss, so I, I cannot really mute him, you know? <laughs> yeah, that, that that falls into the I want my girlfriend, my boss, and uh, yeah, yeah, just my mom. Yeah, exactly. No, work and stuff I don't mind, but... Um, mm. So, okay, um, we have created the service and just for now having these log messages here and I will actually also on create uh, on notification posted and I'll just do timber.i notification posted. Uh, I don't even know what this contains. So, wait, oh, <laughs> no, I guess this we, we is have to be now in Italian, yeah. Huh? Is, no, they are asking about Italian swearing. No, we are, we are still, still good. <laughs> we, are, we haven't we done anything good. yet. If we were like swearing in Italian already, we would be burning that forever. <laughs> like that's something you, we get to when we're really angry. You, you, you need to stick yeah. to the stream and watch. Until we actually, there is if a, you do there it is now, a... then you all leave. What's the point? <laughs> no, there, there is a, there, there must be a progression. You know, that's the, you swear in English, then you swear in Italian, then you swear in your region dialect. And when you start swearing in your region dialect, you know, shit is getting real. Yeah, that's, that's, so... that's when shit is really, really getting real. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the moment that uh, it was a pleasure for everybody. <laughs> let's see, let's call it a day. See you next week, and then you shut down the the, the yep. stream. Uh, okay. Come on. So run I it, run it. Have created this now. If I run it, uh, this is probably I don't know if it's gonna show errors in Logcat. It might do, uh, but uh, I don't think it does anything it... yet. No. Probably not. Yeah. Okay. So we need to um, give it the permission. Now, come on. Build. Let's let's build the button. You want the button? Okay. Let's do. Yeah, I want the button to go to settings. I want the button to go to settings. Let's do some compose. So. 
Button. How do we do it? We create a button thingy. Make us pro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no, this is the on click. Wait, no. Uh, this. Is which a... button did you import? Uh, a button. <laughs> Hopefully the right one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably you are importing like Sun Microsystems, whatever button no, it's from it. the ages. I, I saw um, uh, modifiers and everything, so that's the uh, that's the compose one. But what? Okay, the... compose one. Okay, that's, okay. Yeah, it's this one. So it takes an on-click modifiers, uh, enable interaction source. I don't know what this is. Elevation, shape, border, Elevation. colors, blah blah blah. I don't care about any of that for now. <laughs> Uh, and the text, I just put a lambda there. Uh, the but text. Do you is... need? Ah, okay. So it's not a property. It's like something inside nope. the button. The the button contains stuff. It can contain another button. <laughs> so you can click your button while you kick your button. I'm just. I, I'm. A, <laughs> I, just I, I'm. I'm just gonna snap. I'm starting swearing right now. What, <laughs> what do you mean? The button can contain a button. <laughs> But I see the on click. So the on click is not a lambda inside. No. no How does it work? Uh, because I think the reason why it's not inside, it's because the, the lambda is generally what you use to create shit, isn't it? No. Wait. Because uh, of the DS. Something stupid. I've done yes. something stupid. I've done something stupid. Haven't I? Yeah. No. You need to remove the parentheses. Just. Uh, equal, you just don't need uh, yes. you just need curly braces. I, I yeah. forget how to code when I'm streaming. Apparently. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> I, I can't under it anymore. Okay. I, you I can't... never could, but now even less. <laughs> yes, because it's the new. So wait, wait, wait. So the button has a constructor. Inside the constructor, you are passing the on click. The, yes. on, the, the on click listener. I guess that's the on click listener. And then inside the button, like it's a, like a DSL kind of thing, you are putting a text label yes. to put text in the button. Yes. So the idea is that in the constructor, you pass okay. uh, the properties. So stuff that might influence how it looks, but is not the contents. And you need to think in terms of Compose where everything is... Um, in, in Flutter terms, you would say everything is a widget. Uh, in uh, in <laughs> Compose terms, uh, you would say everything is a composable. So okay, in this case, I, just, the... just, I, I call bullshit because this is okay. But, but I don't understand what's the difference. Why the on-click that for me is more like a behavior is in the constructor of the button and the text the, like the, the button label that is more like how the button should look. So it's like the button, it's like inside. I mean, I don't understand why. So for instance, from in the constructor, if you do control P on, on Windows, you also get something like there was like elevation. So yeah. elevation is something like how the button looks. So you put it in the constructor. Mm -hmm. But then you put the text uh, outside. So think uh, of this, my, my mental model, I'm not sure it's correct, but my mental model is that the stuff that goes in the parentheses of the constructor <laughs> is essentially the same thing that you would have in a style, okay? So you can put paddings, you can put margins. Well, okay, it's the same okay. Thing, but still. okay, okay, okay. And whatever goes inside is like nesting is the same as you would have nesting in the XML layer. In XML, okay, okay. And in this case, you need to think yeah, that but button in XML doesn't when... know, like a button, if you, if I comment out the text, it's just going to, to be, um, it's just going to be an empty How button. So if I run this, the button is gonna be empty because the button in and by itself is just literally the button without anything inside. And the text is yeah, but the you can click on it. of the I button. Mean... So it goes inside of the button because you might have like an ah, icon. Okay, okay. You might have, uh, okay. you can do. Oh, that, that's why you can have a button in a button in a button in a button. Okay. As, of course, as Mario, Mario says on the chat, but, buttonception. And that's why, uh, okay. Um, sure. Already. 
Uh, I don't know how this works. Uh, there's there's the material oh, yeah. icon stuff. I don't know how they work. So I was trying to show you something, but instead you yeah, get yeah, the yeah, main yeah. stuff. <laughs> this is boring, but okay. So, but, sorry. okay, okay, okay. But so humor me. But if you want, if we, I want margin around the button, I put it in the constructor. Yes. Uh, uh, don't ask me why I was doing that. Uh, but yeah, just no, to say, no. I can put stuff in a column so we can put some text around to explain why blah 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 so the idea is yeah, if I want margin come on give me a bit of margin so this is interesting because in compose there are no margins oh, there's only padding on. mm, fuck you what do you mean I mean do you have a padding why do you you don't have a margin do you have padding yes, can you, you can you have... can you write padding there? yeah 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 so so you have oh, I already hate this shit. So you have padding, but you don't have margins. Exactly. Yeah. Because there's a reason. <laughs> there's a reason for this. Wait. Okay. Wait. There's a reason for this. Uh -huh. The reason for this is that um, modifiers are the way you express what you would normally express in, in the XML. So most of the stuff that goes in the XML generally goes in the modifiers. Modifiers are essentially the styling of the content most of the time. Yeah. Okay. You can say that make it big, make it small. You can say take up 5%, 50% of the available size. Uh, you can change things there. You can set a padding. But the order in which the modifiers are applied is important. And this is something I, I am okay. still not entirely sure I have, I have understood correctly, but the order does matter. Because you can have like making something clickable, for example, in XML, you would have clickables equal true and focusable equal yeah. true. Here, focusable, you yes. would have um, clickable. Now, we don't need it because button always is clickable and it has click? this explicit yes. value. This could be like something else, like a text, text. or something that takes okay. that. Uh, maybe it could be How does like it work? a row. You have a text in a text. You don't, I don't think you can put text in text. Okay. <laughs> just, just, uh, I mean, I'm curious. I uh, because okay. You, see, you can only put content into composables that accept a uh, content parameter. And I don't think that text, no, text doesn't have one because it doesn't okay. really make sense right. to put like other composables well, inside that. of text. So. Clickable, we don't have clickable. Well, we have padding, but padding is inside. I want just a bit of air around the button. How would you do that? Just a question. Can you hear my neighbor started hammering? <laughs> no, <Good>. no. <laughs> Obviously. That's a very good mic, my friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, you were asking. <laughs> Did you just go distracted about yes. hammering? Okay. Uh, okay, but padding is inside, okay, inside the button. No, I want a bit of air around the button. So, how yeah. I want margin. How would you do that? Would you put padding in the column thing? You can do that, uh, okay, or or I think, and this is where I'm not 100% sure, but the idea is that, yeah, what, now what, what it put it around it, but that's the column. No, that's the column. Can you remove the column, please? Uh, I want to see if the column is uh, giving you the, the space it's or the, column. the padding. It's you. the button. Ah, uh, what's going on? So I think if you wanted to do the other way around, uh, you would have to do clickable. Here. Okay, wait, Fab Fabio, Fabio, Fabio is telling something, he's saying, Padding can be used two times to have margin and then padding. Oh, so I do it like, like a padding, 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 like this. Uh, no, it doesn't work like oh, that. So okay. what I was getting at well, is I mean, that was... implicitly the button is putting a um, clickable modifier. So I can put another yeah. one. I think, and this is where probably people are going to be shouting at me in the, in the, in the chat. Uh, but 
let's say whatever I, I don't really care that is clickable right now but i can do like if i do clickable first and then padding that's gonna put it around it but in theory if i do the other way around so i change the order that might actually change the clickable <laughs> area but i'm not entirely sure what uh what works well obviously it crashes okay that crashes there's because a, there's it's a to do it, yes that's that's it. fine uh okay. no I, I probably the issue here is that it's the um, the, the internal padding is coming from the background so i would have to do background, background whatever whatever but i i don't know like i don't know what the the default is uh yeah, I don't know what the, the default is for the background, so I'm just not gonna bother <laughs> at all. But yeah, let's say. But the background, you mean the background where? So let me because... restart this. So if I do background uh, color dot red. Okay. And uh, no, no, no. Yeah. You see that the background is applied is, yes. to the button, but if I switch this theoretically, yes, that's what I mean by okay. the order matters. And it's kind of like, so the, the button already has the intuitively uh, for me, the order around. is the opposite of what I would expect it to be saying like I put a <laughs> padding and good. then I set the background and then that applies to the padding. Instead, it's what I understand is it's the other way around where you set the background and then that's applied to everything that comes after that. But I, I like the question how to change the padding inside of the button. I don't know. It's probably something with the background or, or something like that, but I, I don't know. Or it might be like content padding. There you go. Content, content padding. <clears throat> Come on. This one's obviously a something else. Uh, this would be great if it actually padding values. Padding values. Well, I'm confused. What's padding content content padding now? It's the padding for the button content now. For for the text. Yeah. Well, the contents now we have a text, but it can be anything as we said. Yeah, but. Fabio, Fabio in the chat says you can use the padding modifier inside the text composable. So if I put, if sure, you add, but that's not uh, putting a, uh, if you have more than one thing inside of the button and you put the modifier yeah, on yeah, the text, yeah, yeah. that's only going to put the padding, the, the margin on, on the, the text. On the text. But I'm, that's the, the part that is confusing me. Is it putting padding on margin because i that that's different on android right now why xml wise you, you need to forget that the distinction okay. doesn't exist okay. anymore <laughs> okay but the direction the direction has to exist because from a button point of view i can have i can have space inside i can add space inside and i can add the space outside you know, relative, relatively to so where I'm what, in, what on screen. What Fabio was suggesting is to have modifier, uh, modifier oh, yeah. dot padding, and then do, well, let's do 24 dips just to test this yeah. and uh, comment that out for a second. Now you should say, you should see, yes, you have uh, okay. a lot more lot more padding but the padding if... now it's only applied to the text if i have another text here yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously it has to be mm -hmm. banana uh, the button mm -hmm. uh, contents are a row so you see that make us proud has got its padding of 24 Pad. dips but banana doesn't but obviously the button is sized around make us proud yeah the, the biggest so mark the... says what 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 do you what happens if you put the padding before background and after background uh, like line 29 let's try uh, 
let's put the uh, 16 dips there, comment this out and revert this just to test. So this is how we learn how things work, by the way. Uh, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now we have done. <laughs> so we're back to the point that we were at at the beginning where we you need to think of mo the modifiers in order. So in this case, we have said that there is, uh, um, I think it, it's like a stack. You need to read it like a stack. So we create a padding of eight tips and we color that with red. And then on top of that, we have another 16 dips of, uh, of padding. It makes somewhat more yes. sense now, right? If I move this one, yeah. <clears throat> this one down and run this, now I should see a big red. Yes. Bigger red. Okay. okay. But now it, it, it doesn't. Yeah. But now it touches the borders and then uh, yes, before it's, it's, it wasn't touching the border. Yes. So the reason is if I put this padding before the background, this is essentially mm -hmm. creating a padding around that background. If I put it below yes. the background, yes. then the background is applied to both these two padding modifiers. Okay. But if you remove the 16 DP padding one yep. and you run the app, do you only have a 8 DP red yes. background that touches? Okay. Okay. Now I see it. Now I see it. Okay. If I wanted okay, to okay, have okay, okay. a border, uh, like an, an empty space and like a margin in terms of views uh, around the mm -hmm. red, then I would have to put a padding before you need another. the red. You need another padding. Okay. 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 I get it. Did you, is it uh, clearer now? Well, is it, it clear it, to everyone? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this it, is it my just, understanding. So yeah, the mental it just, model is probably 80% correct and 20% bonkers, but it works for this example. So let's go with this yeah, for now. Yeah, I sure miss it. Uh, so, looks cool. I mean, it took me 20 minutes to understand padding. Okay. Uh, mean, it's the concept weird. of modifiers is not very trivial. So yeah. that's fine. Okay, so uh we have a clickable button that crashes when we click it so it means that the click works so deploy to production right and <laughs> ship it uh and then we need to figure out what what do you want to do with column do you want more things i want to make a couple it of button so i can do alignment dot center, center horizontally all... and vertical arrangement Top arrangement dot uh, ah, center. Center, center. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yes, I want it in the middle because the idea is that I want to have like maybe. Uh, Oops. An, yeah, it's okay. I'll get there. Um, I want to have in the page something that is like um, that has uh, maybe some text and an image and something, you know, like a nice onboarding. Uh, and the content is probably going to be just centered there in the, in the center of the screen. Okay. Um, but why the button is not in the center? So, uh, there is a, uh, the next step here, which yes. is, uh, now in, in terms of the view framework, how mm -hmm. do you see this implemented? Like now, right now, what do you think is going on? Uh, if you were doing this with views, what would you be doing mm -hmm. wrong here? Assume that okay. this wrap, is the root wrap of content the layout. somehow. Sorry, there's like a width. There is a width that is not match parent. Exactly. I mean, column. How how exactly. how big is it? The column okay. is just as big as its contents, unless you tell it to do otherwise. And this, I think, goes for ah, okay. so... all the all the composables. So now we need. So the default is wrap content. Yes. So we need modifiers. Okay. Um, <clears throat> fill max, max size. Uh, and this oh, is. There was also width. Boom. Yes, but I want. Okay, to max size enter. it goes both ways. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just cool. a short end to have the both of them. I don't think it does much more than okay. that. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. The interesting thing is that you can also specify a fraction to say. Okay. Fill, but only half of it, for example. So that's that's actually quite oh. 
useful if you start having to do like columns and things like that, like proper columns, multiple mm -hmm. columns. Uh, it's very easy to yeah. do it this way. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say we want to add like um, maybe a nice title above the button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the text in this case is... Um, Welcome, we need to your permission to read your shit. <laughs> okay. So we run this and obviously it's, uh, it's attached to what we have defined. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to delete the background because it doesn't really make sense to have it. Mm -hmm. um, now that text is A, very close to the button and be yeah. not big enough. So yeah. uh, how do we fix those? Do you have any how ideas of how? So, so I guess because those these are like properties that I will uh, consider like a style, I mm -hmm. assume that they are in the constructor mm -hmm. somehow. Plus the text doesn't have content, so that's, that's fairly easy. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting there. Just give me a break for fuck's sake. I, no, no, but you okay, were right. Uh, oh, hey, oh, calma. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but that's... Uh, Okay, okay. So I, I assume there is something like a style somewhere, yeah. like a so font size or if font we look at family. What we can do, there's plenty of things that we can do. Uh, obviously, all composables, well, yeah, most composable uh, composables will take modifiers, so that's kind of a given. But that all the things that you would normally set on the style or the text appearance for a text are pretty much defined as constructor parameters. So you can change the font family, if it's bold, how big it is, blah, blah, blah. In this case, we want to make it big. So we're going to go with font size. Uh, and font size is... Do we, have already, do we have already things like headline one, headline two from the material design? Yes, we do. We have the convenient material theme. Uh, this typography where you have typography okay. and you have uh, h1. h1 i want h1 to shout be huge and then yeah. font size and this is big maybe a bit okay. too big <laughs> let's make yeah it i mean a how for, probably four four oh, or oh, this is okay uh, but it's fine uh i have a question sure i have a question about uh the the strings how do we get the resources here instead of the hard coded thing uh we'll get there in a second so actually let me just do this one thing give us access okay uh let's pretend we'll put some more explanation later but for now mm -hmm. You can do extract string resources as usual, blah, blah, blah. So strings resources are always still declared the same way that they've been declared. Where? Um, this is button, let's say button. Notification, permission, notification, permission. Access prompt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is not ideal. The problem is that when I actually extract this, so if I extract this as, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, composable thing, you right? Wording screen, something like that, whatever, I don't care. For now, okay. it's fine. Um, what do I? No, it's correct. Onboarding is correct. Okay, fine. Um, so we are right now in an activity. So we do have access to get string, which is on the context, mm -hmm. but in compose, you should never, almost never access the context directly. Um, okay. because this might actually be in a different file. No, not Java class. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, you can extract it class right? and I'll just like uh, on board the screen and I will move my composables here for now I'll just put it I'll move that one as well but 
bear with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that. So now mm -hmm. the problem is obviously we don't have a context. So we cannot yep. do context dot get string. <clears throat> but uh, for most types of resources, there is a compose equivalent that will get the context automatically for you under the hood. So in this case, okay. you would have string resource. Oh, okay. That's it. That's very easy. That is actually handy. Hmm. I guess you need to make the function public. Uh, yeah, I will, I will. Just for the, yeah. So you get the app name probably. Do, do we have an app name? Maybe. It's a string. Uh, yes. It's uh, not ID. So, nope. But that's uh, weird. Uh, Have his name. Yeah. Uh, it does not have a. Yeah, even the activity doesn't have one. label. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Oh, up, up, up name. Sorry, and... this is driving me insane. What What For do you have? For some reason, the camel humps are not enabled. I don't know why. Uh, what? Yes. What's a camel hump? It's this. I can move inside of the word. This is so much better. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. This is going to change my life. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. You're going to learn don't things you about that? your ID, dude. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why do I don't? I, why don't I know this thing? Wait, it, I hate when it jumps. At the beginning, so I can ha I can have it jumping on the underscore uh, and also on the inside Are you kidding where me? you have capitals. Let, wait, wait, wait. Let me show. Where is it? Where is it? It's, also capitals. Uh, editor general smart keys and uh, use camel yeah. humps words. Humps. That's one saying? of the best Holy things shit. about IntelliJ ever <laughs> that I miss so much when I'm using every, anything else, really. So let's say you are at uh, line 19 and you are after alignment, you know, at the bottom. Yep. Can you sweet, can you go to the A, the capital A? Yep. Fuck me. No, wait, wait. I'm going to just enable this shit like, <laughs> like right now. Uh, uh, and I will tell how you is more. Humps? You can also Where use are it they? Wait. for selections. So if you also he no, no, have no, no, shift, no. Wait, you wait, can also can't... select just a part of the word. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, I run into I open IntelliJ. I'm in settings. Where is the thing? In editor, you say? Editor, smart keys, uh, camel humps, something, something, camel humps. Where is it? Smart keys, smart. Why don't you have? Uh, so Where is editor, smart keys? General, smart keys. I forgot the general. Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. And okay, smart use keys, camel use humps camel humps. Yeah. It's the only one that is not yeah, selected. I don't know why it's not selected by default. <laughs> uh, but to oh me, God. it's like a lifesaver. No, 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 no. This thing is great. So I can do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Did you thank know, you. You, and I, as I was saying, you can also use it to select just part of a word, which is super useful when you want to do like a rename. You might just want to rename just yeah. a part of a long identifier and just shift control. Well, whatever the shortcut you have, oh. just select the one okay. bit that you that Okay, you have. okay, okay. Oh, this is so good. Thank you. You see? You're welcome. The you, you've learned something thing... valuable already. That and how yeah, padding I, 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 <laughs> I also I also learned about padding and the text <laughs> doesn't have content. So yeah, that's uh that's actually a great Sunday for me. Good, oh shit! Good. Reason one to watch these streams. <laughs> yeah, people are learning stuff. Tell me about. Tell me about. I'm learning things. I mean, like as we go. Fuck me. This is so good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, question. Yeah. So uh, we build the the text, uh, picking the font size from the typography mm -hmm. from Material Team. Can we pick the whole style? Like you know, like a. Uh, the whole if there is like uh do we have like a style uh material team whatever thingy do we do we have yes. that kind of stuff typography dot h1 or h2 that applies everything colors everything yeah i mean 
Obviously, yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, was... I need to make this public. Well, yeah. ah. this should be internal. internal. What, what's with the text? Why is complaining? I don't know. I'm gonna fix it. What the? F internal. Internal. Uh, yep. Um, why is it complaining? Try to run it. Probably. Is it it's font it's font style or style the whole thing can be cool with the oh, argument wait, supply. I think this is, yeah, it's a text style. So I need to do text style. That should work, doesn't it? Font style. Try style. Try style. Just style. No, no, no. There's no like if I do style. There was a style. Oh no, wait, it's style. You're right. Yeah, there was style. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm... You see. Yeah. Okay, oh, this is cool. Okay, yeah, so it does it everything. It sets cool. the font, it sets the size, it sets the color, it sets, it sets everything. Uh, of course, we haven't really customized the theme or anything. Uh, I have a vague idea on how to do that, but not today for sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is good now. Okay, so we have a clickable crashing button that is also a nice label. Yes. Uh, now it's we cool. can do something which is we can we need to find out what the intent is to show intent. the um, yeah. notification listener service mm -hmm. which is done the obvious way googling it <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course intent uh, so uh, sebastian are you telling are you telling me that you don't know anything you don't know everything that you need to use Google? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can I can even uh, steal shit from someone else, but yeah. Oh, there is a nice repo. Go open source. Yeah. Uh, Enable... This is what we did basically. Uh, this doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the actual. Can you check the code? Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, sure. But I don't know if there's any. Code intent whatever to hmm. only way to know okay <laughs> it's a dialogue okay oh ah, you can in java. you can navigate uh, that's java that yeah. i was thinking okay there is Action a start activity listener settings okay yeah. Okay. That that's the intent. Okay. So... so we don't have a start activity, I assume, right? Well, we have an activity that we start from. No, I mean from a compose point no. of view, word but word. What thing. I'm doing right now is uh, slightly different. So I'm gonna write the method first, and then I'm gonna explain mm -hmm. how this should actually be done because the way it's done right now. It's not great, and I, I I will explain why in a second. But I'll, let me just mm -hmm. do a start activity. Uh, I've made this an extension function on uh, on on context. Well, we don't have the context. Yes, but that's a problem for us yes. for later. <laughs> so okay. yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I would just just so we do intent and the action we said is this. Uh, did it mm -hmm. Yeah, the right one. Okay, this should be enough, probably. Okay, so we have one problem. We have an action here that depends on the context. It needs a context to be run, mm -hmm. but obviously instead of a composable, mm -hmm. we don't have one. Yeah. On top of that, uh, we are not entirely sure whether um, we like, Okay, sorry. Let me go one, st one step back. In, in <laughs> just, just, just breathe. Just breathe. Uh, should be pure functions, uh, idempotent. potent. Okay. So if I if I create a function that is a composable, I should not uh, I should not perform actions in there, uh, especially actions that might change the state of the UI. You mean you mean you mean call a method or well you can call methods something, but input you should, output uh, composable most of the time should get the data passed in and 
show mm -hmm. stuff with it. The idea is that composables are stateless in, in theory okay. in, in, for the most part. Uh, there are exceptions, but the, the general idea is that the least state you hold inside of the composable, the better. Either. In this case, okay. um, the show notification preferences is sort of a similar thing, but not necessarily exactly the same. But the solution to our problem mm -hmm. is to pass it as a parameter. Okay, fair enough from the outside. So it's the activity that is passing the function to the, it's basically a, a lambda yeah. to the widget. Exactly. Well, it's not a widget, it's a composable. Exactly. And then you just, you know, just pass okay. it in as a parameter you there do. and that we have a context And then you here, have it. And that this doesn't need okay. to be context, uh, uh, an extension of context anymore, but that's fine. So now this so, should actually work. So if I understand it correctly, composable should be designed and built um like functions that don't do side effects you, you kind know, of thing. yeah you know okay. you know the thing that you like a lot uh which is functional programming uh compose is very yeah. similar in that sense where functions should be idempotent so they should yeah. always do the same thing given the same inputs they should not depend on global state uh well they must yeah. not depend on global sp state and there's a reason for that uh, that I will explain later when the time comes. Mm -hmm. uh, and also they uh, should be uh, internally stateless as much as possible. Uh, you think mm -hmm. of a composable in terms of a view. Well, a view um, has internal state. Views are mutable by nature because you mm -hmm. don't recreate the whole view hierarchy the whole every view. time. But with compose, that it's just a different mindset. You start with a, a state and you trickle the state down through your UI composable mm -hmm. hierarchy. And if those composables can be doing stuff like can be clicked or they can be having text or something like that, and you need to know when those things happens, then you create essentially callbacks. Uh, and you yeah, dependence injection, all the things. Yeah, essentially basically. you're injecting all the state and all the event sources that that you need. Um, mm. In this case, it was a very simple example, but the idea is that now onboarding string uh, or onboarding screen, as it is right now, is entirely stateless. It doesn't have any state. Yeah, this stuff no, never you can, changes. You can you can build it three hundred times. It's gonna look all the same yes. all, every time. On top of that, composables and... can be run every frame because maybe they're animating and you need to be mm -hmm. recreating everything. Obviously, Compose is smart and only runs the parts that need to be rerun. But if you're to animating, rebuilt, say, the background yeah. of a button, every frame that button mm -hmm. will be recreated because the yeah. background has changed. There's no way around it. But in this, in our example, for example, the, the, the text, the title here would not be rerun. And I don't think this Refetched. would be uh, recomposed. You call it recomposing. So I don't think that the mm -hmm. text inside would be recomposed either because it doesn't depend on the, the background of the button. If yeah. this would be but... animated as well, then obviously that would be recomposed. As yeah, well. okay, we can, they, will, they will be different frame by frame, but this yeah. is actually nice. This gives you a nice uh, attitude. Yeah, where, once you, you know, once instead you, of trying, uh. once you manage to get past the the mindset that views the have trauma. created uh, in our minds over the, the past 10, 15 years, it's almost 15 years at this point. Yeah. Um, you you understand that the way things are done in Compose is entirely different. And if you start thinking about how to do things in terms of how you would have done it with views, you're probably going to do it wrong. You need to mm. imagine that you're Embrace. learning something completely new. It's not the yeah, same imagine. thing that you were doing. And the, the mindset imagine. needs to change. Uh, so in views, yeah. you would probably still have like a, a listener that you, you set from code. And in that sense, it's the same behavior. Uh, but in Compose, you are forced to inject 
all the things that you need to be changeable. Uh, if we wanted to yeah. say um, change the name of the um, of the application title here, uh, that that mm -hmm. is something that is modifiable. Then we would pass this one in as a parameter. As a, as so a parameter. So that when you change the when the, when compose sees that the the value for this parameter has changed it knows that it needs to rerun onboarding screen and it goes and it checks inside of onboarding screen where that's used and recomposes mm -hmm. the composable that is depending on that but not the other one only that part ish yes. only that part and on on this it's actually good because on this mm -hmm. um, one more thing to note is that composables they need to be stateless and they need to be uh, not depending on uh, external state because composables can be run in any order and even in parallel. So this composable might be run at the same time as this. Mm. Because the, for, for performance reasons, yeah, you, you can uh, compose. Why? Can Why not? Because they're immutable. Yeah, because they're they're essentially yeah. because of the assumption of things being idempotent and because they don't, um, they're pure functions, then you can just run mm -hmm. them all at the same time. There's no point, if you have yeah. 15 composables inside of this column, there's no point in creating one build by them. one. You just build all of them and then pass them all to the Boom. column, right? Yeah. It's not there's actually there's that actually happen, but it might happen. If you have- Yeah, 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 but- If you have four cores on, on yeah. your, phone cpu phone? then it might probably do like four at a time eight at a time it depends on the on how many but uh, you, you cannot make assumptions about the threading model stuff does not run mm. necessarily on the on the ui thread and it's uh well it generally doesn't run on the on the ui thread and uh, that's transparent to you you don't need to worry about that the only thing is obviously if you have in the same screen old school views and composables, making them interact, you need to understand that the, the threading model is different in Compose. Mm, 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 mm. But this is good. This is, gives you a, a nice mindset where, you know, it, it forces you to to think in, um, in a proper, more maintainable way. You know, the idea that you have to pass dependency inside the constructor. So instead of having the composable trying to reach outside to get the context and do crazy shit, no, if you need something from the context, I'm just going to pass it to you. So just stay there, stay quiet. And if you need something, I'm going to just provide it to you. So that's a nice mindset. This is actually good. Any any chance that we can cre uh, we can try out the um, compose preview? That's exactly with this what thing? I want because you are to building do, to do. So oh, okay. Oh, and there is a question on uh, on the chat. How do you navigate in GitHub? Uh, uh, well, it, it's done automatically. There's nothing you need to do. If it's supported, it's supported only in Java for now. I don't think it's supported with uh, uh, probably with JavaScript. You know. Yeah, Java, JavaScript, Ruby, maybe Python. I don't know. Mm. So we need to wait, basically. Oh, fingers crossed. Why not? Do we need a, like a dependency for preview? No, you don't. Uh, this is built in, but it's complaining because something. I don't know. Uh, composable functions with non default parameters are not supported in preview unless they are annotated with preview parameter. Uh, sure. What does this want? I guess you need to pass some How fake lambda, I guess. I, th I think you need uh, the on click, right? Yeah, but I don't remember this being necessary. The preview will not update until the project. Yeah, I know this, this one is expecting okay. something, a uh, provider of something, but wait. How, how is button preview done? It's not. It's taking the on click. This is weird. Uh, we have a suggestion. We need to create an additional composable for the preview. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah, that that makes sense. So you would have and with private fun and like a on 
or at preview yeah yeah i will add it later mm -hmm. preview and uh, this would be an no parameters thing and i can do a preview here and this should work um needs also add composable Composable. Okay. okay and this just needs onboarding screen and that's it an empty one should be fine control shift at five so build fingers crossed yeah okay it's showing uh, something zoom out yeah nice okay so this is not the screen preview, but it's going to be the composable preview. Yeah. Or, well, it's, it's going to be the preview it. for this onboarding screen. Like if you have interactive you things, you, you can make it interactive. If it's like uh, scrolling or uh, animating, you can make it oh. interactive. And then oh, you can yeah. also run yeah. it on the emulator, which is quite cool. I have to say, I haven't used it, but... Just, just, just this thing? Yeah, just this. Yeah, it's a, like a micro application so you... that only contains that preview, so it's super fast, and you don't need to, you know, navigate through an app oh, to, yeah, get to because... the point where you you can try things. And you know, this is the the old uh, the the old uh, you know the background that I have, and I was like, yeah, but how is doing it? Because if I run the whole app, you know, then what what with the dependence injection, and then I was like, no, 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 he's just running the composable. Yeah. So it's just basically rendering the the screen thingy that we built. Mm -hmm. So it's not running the app. Mm -hmm. This is actually cool. And I think there is also a way to tell it to change. I don't remember how to do it, but the, like you can see if there's a configuration for the preview, you can say the name, mm -hmm. uh, onboarding, screen, group, whatever. Uh, you can choose that uh -huh. this is the preview under API Device. level 15, I don't know. You can uh. set the screen size, the, can you the do language, dark mode? Uh, the font scale, you can choose whether to show the system UI or not. See? That's oh, nice. Like, uh, whole... Can you do dark mode? Show background, show background. Show background. That doesn't do anything because okay. I don't think there's any well, background to because show. It's white. Because uh, it's white, okay? But no, it's okay. simply okay. About, not set, but, but I, I, I guess okay. I, I can make it um, this, this go. Well, let, let's make it, well, yeah. Okay, okay. Can you do dark mode I, in the preview? I think so, but um, I don't remember how. I know I've done it. Uh, but I don't remember how to do it. I, I don't think it's automatic. In the menu? I don't think it's, it's not in something the menu? here. UI mode, car, like no, car device. Desk, whatever. Can no. this thing scroll? No, no it, it won't scroll, it's, right? It's this is it. That, that, uh, yeah. And you can choose preset devices. But um, the, the thing is that I think here, um, what you would do is you would have like something like a dark mode parameter here or something on the theme directly. Mm -hmm. And then in the preview, you would have like one for normal mode and another one for uh, for dark mode. So you would have something dark like uh, uh -huh. okay. dark mode dark like this. Mode. And then you would have the uh, is it theme. It, it was my team, dark theme. Mode theme. Oh, my theme. My okay. team, dark theme equal true. A suggestion well, from the material Fabi. theme because we only have mm -hmm. this one. Uh, the, the, dark. And it's like dark. Is it? It's like dark theme equal true. Dark. Or they, that's what they're suggesting. They're... They might have changed the the, the, the API since. Uh, They've uh, last used it because there's no dark theme. Okay, dark colors, no. Night, is it called, could it be night theme? No. Well, nope. there, I mean, there's a way to do it, but the, the idea is that you can yeah. also use this to say, um, to change the attributes of the theme just for this preview. Oh. So you could have like ah. shapes, 
uh, you can have the shapes instead of the re rectangles. You can have uh, what is the material theme? Yeah. Dot shapes. Dot copy, and have I don't know something like changing the the stuff. Corner, corner thingy. Inside okay. Theme.kt, you oh. should have a generated theme composable that takes a dark theme boolean. Is that theme.kt something that is generated or? Because I don't have theme.kt. I do just have material theme. And I don't think there's anything here specific for that. It should have the generated theme composable. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter right now. It was just a. Um, no, 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 an example. It's... We'll maybe get to that at some point, but for now it's just enough. To yeah, yeah, but I, I, I'm happy. Okay. This is cool. So let's add some text, some more text here uh, above the button that says uh, that we need the, um, permission. the permission. So uh, in order for the app to work, it requires access to the notifications notifications okay cool uh okay so the preview updates okay now okay there's two things that we can improve here obviously <laughs> the first mm -hmm. one is that the yeah. text is not centered. Um, and the mm -hmm. second one is that it's not really looking great. So if we do one, one, two, one, yeah, and yeah it, it's not, not great. Right. I, I will, I would like to have a bit of padding if you don't mind. Yes. So <laughs> I, I will tell you something there. Uh, uh -huh. Well, let's start with the, um, uh, with the alignment text align okay. is center and that okay. should make the text center. Okay. Center. Good. Now, mm -hmm. um, we also want to have some, um, internal, well, some padding, there's no such thing as internal padding versus external, mm -hmm. but we can have modifiers. Uh, like a so modifier. Okay. Modifier, modifiers, padding. Dot, uh, okay. Padding. I'll start getting. And we have horizontal and we can say 32 dot CP. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Number. I love the padding thing. <laughs> I love the padding thing. <laughs> Uh, because I mean, when when there is when not there is not enough space around text, I get claustrophobic. You know that kind of shit. <laughs> so just put some margin or padding or call it whatever you want around the text. Uh, okay. How about some style? What what else do you want to add? So um, I just wanted to show you that now here we have oh, what? this horizontal padding. Then we might want maybe mm -hmm. some bottom padding, let's say, and we can do dot mm -hmm. padding. And then this would be bottom, uh, say, um, 16 tips, just a random, mm -hmm. just a random number. Uh, okay, so you see, so there. if I if I get it correctly, we have the same naming that we have in XML top left uh, or top end start and bottom yes. but if you want start and end at the same time you can use horizontal uh, right? yes yeah horizontal okay. and vertical oh, that's actually you you do have those in the xml as well but you never use them because they're min stk 20 something uh 28 20 from <laughs> 20 too much too little too late <laughs> okay. yeah. uh, but yes <laughs> You don't have the problem with Compose. That's good. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, Compose, I mean, we don't have a, like a min SDK problem here, right? I mean, if I start is building... There a min SDK, apps... I don't remember, but I think we set the, the min SDK for this one to like 20 something. So Six? Probably. 
I mean, 26 is okay, but if they 26. can go like 21, is even better. I don't remember what the minus decay is, honestly. I don't think it's I mean, particularly if, if high, you need... though. Uh, well, uh, if, if, if you're still using 21, I'm going to just hug you. Very... Sending hugs. <laughs> and just... Thoughts and prayers. Yeah, sending hugs. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, 26 is already... I mean, we could... at, at, at work, we are, uh, with, uh, we are working on the Android app and the iOS team is, of course, uh, they can't wait for the new iOS blah, blah to, to be able to drop uh, iOS... 13 something and basically yeah. when this Current thing happens of iOS they're is gonna 14 support as well so it's like oh yeah yeah we can't wait yeah, to drop the last version are... of iOS <laughs> yeah yeah they, they were like eventually uh, they are gonna be using like uh, supporting one and a half version of iOS and we had a meeting how many version of Android are, you, are we supporting and I, in my mind I was like all of them. <laughs> that's, that's what we do. That's what we do. All of them. But I, it, it's fascinating. I think, it's always been I think API okay. 21 globally is around 96, 97% of phones. So I don't think there's okay. valid reasons to have le less than 21 right now. But I'm sure someone will have. Yeah, to but apparently, apparently somebody on the chat has oh, 19. Uh, condolences. So I uh, <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, we, uh, <laughs> how is it? Thought and prayers. <laughs> yeah, thoughts and thing. prayers. Um, I just wanted oh. to show you another composable uh, while yes. we are at it. Yeah, because we we only have text and buttons so far. Yeah. So, so uh, let's say I want some more room between the name of the application and the text here. Now, an obvious way to do it is to just have a padding bottom padding. thing. Right. But assume that we might have like more than one items here or something like that. Uh, there is the spacer, which you can just okay. do modifier dot, uh, I think, height. Yeah, and just mm -hmm. do, I don't know, 32 dips, whatever. I'm just running it in the emulator now to see how it works. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Oh, so basically, a spacer is just an empty view kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of like okay. um, there is spacer in the view framework as well, but it's almost mm -hmm. never used because there's not much point uh, when you have yeah. margins in most cases. Uh, but mm -hmm. given that can, can, composed, can you also give it are lightweight, background? you can use them. Sorry. Mm. Can you give it like a background? As well, like a spacer. I mean, no, can you put only takes, things well, in? Well, I think stuff? Yeah, you can probably get. Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, probably you're just gonna get a red box, but I mean, yes, that's the. You are. Come on, preview. Or not even because there is no weed. I guess there is like a oh, well, zero weed or. Fill max width. Uh, I don't know why I keep running it, but yeah, yeah, it does work. It does do that. Yeah, it does. Oh, you see, this is this is in, yeah, it's intuitive. So this is good. This is good. I'm getting the dot 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 thing. Uh, yeah, as you say, it's more functional than <laughs> it's way more functional. Yes. Okay, I get it. Oh, this is good. This okay. is actually super nice. So let's say that we now. Uh, want to test this? Click it. Okay. It should. It should, it should run, right? Yeah, yeah, it does run. Uh, let's open the emulator again. Let's give us access. Uh, nice. Yeah, new stuff. Um, clearly needs some help. <laughs> <laughs> I love. <that. laughs> Spire notification. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Allow notification access for blah blah blah. Yeah, sure. And so you definitely yeah, need a uh, app name somewhere. Yeah, I think there's some bugs what? with Android S, probably. Oh yeah, because we Android S. Yeah, but this stuff is all new. Uh, you didn't used to have this, mm -hmm. uh, but essentially, I think you you remember that in the manifest we had the um, those things that we have commented out like the default filter yes. types and disabled filter types mm -hmm. i think these ones are these ones so you can in android s you can say i don't want 
all the notifications. I only want to get access to oh, okay. the real time ones or the conversations or yeah. well, the default ones that's actually... or the silent ones. So do you think that it's going to pre-check the checkbox or not even showing the one that you don't want to to see? Um, what What's your guess? I think it's going to pre-check all of them unless you say I only like I think you can like disable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you if you specify this ones, what's your well, guess? Is it going to pre-check only the one that you need or hide the other ones? I think disabled will actually either disable or hide them entirely and um, let's, so we are looking for one and two let's say one two and three and we only leave out four for now and we well want... you are assuming that they are sorting uh, from zero no i mean there there is the documentation anyway uh, i think it lists uh. them uh filter Type. Yeah, I think these are the ones. So alerting is two, conversations is one, ongoing is eight, and silent is four. Ah, so they are not sorted. So there is no three. I'm not even entirely sure what the numbers here are. So I'm just going to leave one and two for now. Okay, whatever. Let's, let's, see. let's, let's see. see. I'm curious. Let's see. Let's see. And we are assuming that on on a old version, it's just not gonna do anything. Yeah, on older versions, they should just be ignored. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. See, it actually look at disables. That. So we are this one. It's entirely disabled. It's not hidden, but it's disabled, and uh, mm -hmm. it only checks conversations by default. Obviously. We have this in both places, so it's going to try to enable it, but then it doesn't really enable it. So, well, I guess we mm. can leave this. We just need to figure out what is, what is what. Right. Which one do we need? What do we need? The, the so, real time? So, I don't think we need ongoing because there's no point in filtering out an ongoing notification like for a media player. What's the point? No. No. And that is. But which one is the ongoing? Ongoing is real time, I think. Probably. And no, because one is, is conversation. Alerting. So default is alerting. Silent is silent. Conversations is conversations. So this is ongoing. This is a and what number is uh, it? Foreground services and shit. Uh, is eight? I think we don't need silent either. And I would just disable real time because we don't want that at all. And I think conversations and default are the ones that we enable by default. And then when you, if you want to also select silent, then yep, good for you. Um, but so you need one, two, and what was it? Four. Uh, one, two, and four, probably. I think one, two, and four. Also, while we are at it, I also need to do this because this is bothering me beyond belief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know it's the small things yeah i need to rerun it though okay okay uh oh, yeah i need works. to disable this and Try again. i don't know if it remembers yeah i think it remembers stuff oh this is a bit broken yeah it's very oh. broken uh let me this is the preview right Uninstall the app, just in case. No, this is the, the emulator. The preview doesn't do all this stuff, yeah, obviously. It's, uh... Okay. Ah, it's a super, uh, super emulator. Yeah, okay, so it's selecting oh. all of them by default, which is fine. Uh, the thing is, uh, we said we don't want the silent ones. So let me revoke that. So... Go back here one second and see silent was... Four. Okay, so we don't want four. Mm -hmm. Okay, run it again. And now, if I do this, allow, it's not working. Yay! <laughs> right, right, one is. But I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if you just need to uninstall the app. But what's the difference between 
So default is just going to check the, the checkbox. And disabled is going to be just and hiding or disabling yeah, the checkbox. Cannot, we don't Great. support those. So if you, don't, if you don't do anything, you okay no that it, should does, it, it able... does work. okay now it works, it works. it's just okay, okay. yeah okay. you need to uninstall That's it actually... because you granted it access and it remembered that silent was okay i think <laughs> i still i'm still laughing for the ispy your notification uh every time every time every time you load the screen i, sl <laughs> I laugh uh yeah, because it's like okay the the icon is good the name is good and then i laugh at the subtitle um okay so this is actually fine this is good um I think we have now any that it is connected, I sort of well that we gave it permission. I sort of expect that we should see the service connecting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it works. Good stuff. Good, it's connected. So if okay. we now uh run the the spammer. This thingy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I them. Ta -da. Yeah. Every every 15 min 15 seconds we should get a new one, yeah. right? Theoretically, yes. So, it's coming. Come on, boy. Yeah. Two, yeah. Two, yeah. Works. Woohoo. Okay. Nice. Also also the the, the notification generator works. I mean, that's cool. I mean that's fairly simple okay. to be honest. I think it's hard to yeah. Come to on, but you you never know, right? <laughs> you never know. It's two years old. I mean everything can go wrong. That's true, but uh, there's one other thing that I would like to do, which is, um, well, first of all, I think, well. I, I was about to do some weird Unicode shit on that string, but uh, probably not now. <laughs> uh, but Why? I will still Why? do this. Um, notifications permission explanation. Okay. Okay, good. Now... Um, this is oh wait 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 he, he, he actually used string resources by yeah, itself i think it didn't before because we were inside of a of an activity yeah that's actually cool yeah that's actually I mean, very very cool they are improving this quite a lot because originally when you extracted functions like a year ago it didn't put the composable annotation automatically so it was a pain and now they okay. fixed it and i'm super yeah. happy that, that that it works <laughs> well now i see why robert is so excited i mean if you grasp well, robert it is excited about everything kinda... that is new and shiny yeah also also that ciao roberto by the way where is roberto fuck robert is not following us on twitch i'm gonna give you so much shit roberto <laughs> we're gonna link to this point yeah, in yeah. time with the complaints yeah i'm gonna what, what time is it it's like one hour five uh 53 minutes of streaming and i'm just Already? this is gonna be like wow. a streaming moment shaming moment for you roberto okay everybody's going to know okay okay so i'm going to do the thing that uh everyone would do which is try and figure out yes this this code here I am just gonna copy paste yes. it. <laughs> I was I was thinking I was thinking now we need to understand I mean how do we check if we already gave the notification the permission? Uh, yeah like A this, point. obviously. <laughs> like this. Uh enable notification listener, what's this? I do not what? know. Uh no no, it's a fuck up Sec setting oh, secure get this. strings. Okay. Enable the Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I think this can. It's the settings dot secure get string. Huh? It's like a, a system thing. Yeah. Comes from because. Oh, yeah, I was like, what the fuck is this thing? Oh, text utils is empty. Oh, how cute. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. I I also think we can probably make it, this internal and mo maybe move it somewhere. Uh, that isn't the no, activity because yeah. I feel dirty about doing it there. Yeah, no, no, just just uh, throw throw it away. I, do you know that you can just click 
F6 to extract a function. Yeah, but it doesn't work if it's inside of a class for some reason. So mm. it's Fair kind enough. of a shame. Um, Uh, was it enable no enable notification, notification service helpers for now and we can come up with a better name later Wait. uh yes oh, this needs the name. package name Fair so enough. this needs a context mm -mm. and this is a uh, context dot package name and context dot Content resolver. Okay. C can you can you get rid of the text you did this yes, empty, please? Absolutely. Like I, I want <laughs> he's, to... he's, he's making me so sad. So there's two things <laughs> that I want to do. The first one is to invert this and fail fast instead of yeah. nesting stuff for no reason. Uh, and also uh, oops. Enable listeners dot is empty. Okay, good. Uh, well, I guess it's never going to happen, yeah. but just in case. Uh, and then we do enable listeners. Oh, the four, the four, <laughs> four, four loop. <laughs> Holy shit, I mean, a four loop. Kotlin style guide says that if it's not part mm -hmm. of a functional chain, you should not use for each. You mm -hmm. should use a for loop. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's correct in a sense. Uh, but mm -hmm. like we don't need this and mm -hmm. uh, we can just do I don't yeah I don't get this anyway dot in the, dot in, so in, in the indices in line this and then I am going to replace with this the thank you IntelliJ or that's the things <laughs> that's how you would do it but uh yeah, sure. Uh, oh, shit. That's, oh, the text you did sequels, you can also improve on that. Come on. Yes. Uh, line 15. Why is this? Wait. Just a neat. I, I, I don't know why. I, is, know why. I mean, why would... I mean, it's just string equals string, so why would you bother? Yeah. And in any case, why... Yeah, I don't get this. Yeah, because it's doing the the get at the end of the split, so that's gonna be nullable. Because line fourteen, at the end you have split, and then you are picking the it, and if it's not there, they're gonna give you a, a null. Oh, okay. That's why it's uh, nullable. What is this it? Yeah, how about we? It can't even, it's an index or in the indices. Oh, well, yeah, index, I guess. Index. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, but... this is like we don't need this, but we can do with index. And this is going to be. Um, what is this package name? Index. And now we don't need to do this anymore because this is resplitting everything. Well, we don't even need to do yeah. that. It's just getting that one. So uh, we don't need this. And we only need just need the package. This. Name. Yep. And obviously this is uh, uh, where is my mouse? Everything go everything okay? <laughs> Where the fuck is my mouse? It went to the wrong screen. Okay. You lost the mouse, okay. Yeah, it just disappeared. <laughs> nice. Whatever. Um package name. So it took you just uh, uh it, it's almost two hours to first uh, curse in Italian. Yeah, That's well, okay. I said we need to I mean... learn this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hour max is okay. Okay, so now we need to. Now I'm gonna show you how to um, decide Do multiple whether screens. we need the give us access button or not. Because obviously, in the onboarding <laughs> screen, is it? in the onboarding screen, if we already have the yes. access to the button, 
we don't need mm -hmm. well we already have access to the notifications we don't need the button correct well we don't need the whole screen i guess well i mean oh no yeah because the home hmm? i mean sure but let's say in our hypothetical example that we want that so um what do you do? Extract Request another composable? Or like composable? Access. Um, sure. Fine. So now the button and the. Oh, nice. Oh, I, now I see what you mean when you. about the, the annotation. So if you extract something from a composable, it's going to create another composable right away. It's yeah. not just extracting a function. What what did you do to extract the composable? You did you just, just extract, extract a method? Yeah, extract function. like a, a function. Normal normal stuff. Nice. Uh, so one well, thing it's we want to normal do is that he knows that you have to put the composable. Mm -hmm. So if uh, needs permission, then mm -hmm. do this. Uh, this. Else, we're just gonna show a button that says get started. I don't know. Uh, on click and we're gonna have a different thing there that we're going to call something else okay and this has text inside mm -hmm. that is let's go actually let's -a go let's -a go <laughs> okay why not it's a bit racist but correct oh, well we're italian it's not racist plus yeah yeah no 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 it's super Sorry. mario it's never racist um, this it's not is Italian. on this miss clicked. Okay. And now we need to create a parameter for this one as well, which is needs permission. I'm actually going to put it at the top yes. factor and, uh, uh, separate lines. This is, um, the preview is having a, an existential yeah, crisis. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, oh, but now you can actually uh, drive the preview with the boolean. Uh, this is cool. Ah, this is cool. Me yeah. like it. So now you will see the preview doesn't really change, but on board the screen, we can rename this to needs permission. And mm -hmm. we can have uh, needs permission here. And then we can create another preview that shows us how it looks when it on the other doesn't state. need. Yeah. Uh, nice. Okay. This is actually this is actually powerful. And then you have this miss only and this needs for permission false. And we can create the previews. You need a new string. Uh, yeah, I need it, to put uh, this stuff here. Um, okay, this is true for now. And that mm -hmm. and this is But in the true. the preview, you yeah. you can improve on the title in the preview. What do you mean? Oh yeah, here. Uh, twenty six. Yeah, you can do does and not. This means wrong. Whatever. This means wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm committing to that. So now I can do design. I can close stuff. One second. Okay. So now you see I have the needs permission still looks as it did, mm -hmm. and now. Oh I yeah, I was just one. wondering how. How is gonna do the two permi the the two previews? It, they, it just want, rendered. and it all it shows all yeah. of them in the same file. That's actually nice. So you can this copy images nice. for whatever reason, but I guess. For, well, image of what? I mean, like a screenshot yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Like the image of that composable, I think, or the whole thing. I'm not okay. sure. I have never used it, so. This is cool. Uh, so yeah, now we know it works. And we need to use this to decide whether it's uh, it needs the permission. So first of okay. all, uh, ne e. stop it. Ne names. S if I knew how to type, that would be easier. So yeah, come. And Sander. this, and will I also bring this inside because there's more than one. Huh? And it's less confusing when they're labeled. And yep. uh, we'll leave that to do for now, but just for a second, and is notification oh, service enabled? Notification. This... Let's see if this works. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Well, it should work. Well, ish. Try to give us success. 
We already have access, so we... it doesn't work. Oh, so we, fuck, we, fucked, up <laughs> we, the, fucked, we up. fucked up the function. Yes. Okay. But let's debug okay. it. Okay, I mean, yeah, or just revert it. No. Um, I want it nice code. Nice code. Nice code. Okay, so we Whoa. have all That's the a... listeners here. Oh, this is wrong. No, this is right. Okay. Um... Also, I was thinking that it might make sense to do this here instead. And this is, is empty. empty. And then that makes more sense. So let me rerun this. Okay. And I can run to there. So enable listeners is two. There's Ooh. hours and uh the launcher this fair enough okay launcher fair enough okay so that's fine and now we need to check what this does so let's uh evaluate this What's a have we uh fucked it up and then uh, no this seems correct and then then we have package name da, 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 da. so i guess that what really breaks it is the any uh, because, oh, any is true. Oh, true. yeah, no, I know. <laughs> uh, that's what's wrong. Why? Uh, because we only need to, uh, is the notification service enabled? Uh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, we're using it in the no, we, way. But yeah, we use it yeah, wrong. Yeah, we are using it. Yeah. Okay. Needs notifications. Permission. Permission. Yeah. How about that? Bug fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh, just, just rename, rename the it. function. <laughs> I mean, naming is hard, yeah. so renaming it has to be harder, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Okay. Uh, it works, by the way. We have our basic UI in place now. I think one uh -huh. interesting thing to do would be now to create another screen. Yeah, can you show me how we navigate to another screen? I, uh, so, um, heads you up. have no idea. <laughs> I only have a vague idea on how to do that. Okay. But there is like a navigation something. Somebody, somebody, somebody from the audience. How do we yeah. navigate? <laughs> Fabio. <laughs> where, where is, uh, where is G Vetri? Come on, how do we oh, navigate? I think we need the dependency to do that, first of all. Okay, Fabio is providing. There is Compose Navigation. Fair enough. Yeah, cool. I, I actually skimmed that earlier, but obviously I don't remember it. Um, okay. okay. Compose Navigation. Okay. So you know, I, need... I, I'm hating, I'm yes. hating this thing way less today, and I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. It's a, uh, it's a progress already, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm uh, I actually today, in a, after two hours with you and we with you all, I think I can do it. You know, that kind <laughs> I, I, I know that. I, I feel like, uh, you know what, I I kind of can do it this time. I can, because this is what we need to do. I mean, next year we need to do this. I mean, uh, yeah, it's every, everything is cool, you know, beta, yoo-hoo, the future. But eventually we need to do this. So the sooner we jump on it, the better. I don't think it's going to be six months. No. Because not everybody is brave as Yuani. <laughs> uh, so... But we probably in one year we need to do this, so it's good. This is good. Oh, navigation controller sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, also needs to be said beforehand. I have almost never used the regular navigation components, only a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So this is where you help okay. me even understand the the ideas. Oh yeah, sure. Pretty much the same, just in composed terms instead of. Huh. Um, in terms so, of I mean, stuff, but you see, you have roots and you have this this shit essentially. Now, host 
Okay, start destination. So this is, looks like a navigation yeah, graph. Instead of kind the XML of thing. stuff, okay. you just have you, you create the, the navigation okay. things. Uh, okay, this is good. Here. So I guess composable, those are uh, the screens, right? Profile and friend yeah, list, this say, is they look the examples, screens. So, but uh, let's say this is yeah. actually onboarding. Onboarding. And then we have another and one that is home. What, what do you want? What? Home? No way. No, no, because you, oh, you no, no, yeah. killed Lambda. Onboarding screen, it needs this, which is this okay, but, shit down here. But now we. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, this okay. is literally the screen content. Okay, and this is this, this at main activity. Okay, enough. Uh, we'll need to do this. I guess this is where the novelist comes into play. Also, the navigation I'm not sure happened. that if we do need to ask for the permission, I don't know. We probably need to do a, like a recomposing uh, when the the this when we changes. come back. Uh, so no, sorry. When this changes now. Actually, yes. Let's finish this, but then we need to go back and fix this because this mm -hmm. is not going to work. Yeah. But I know put, uh, it could work, maybe. Put a to-do there. And a friends list, we don't have a friend list. We have a, like a home. How do you want to call uh, let's, it? Let's notification? It's, for now, it's just notifications. Uh, Lists. Uh, this needs nothing for now. Or, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll enter. <laughs> and it's just... let's create this. Um, yes, this is a composable. And this is internal. Yeah. And yeah, you see, you cannot move it. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a bummer. But yeah. Why do I know? Ah, because I'm always extracting classes. Okay. So let's say we just. For now, we're just dumping everything there. It's fine. Notifications yeah, no list, uh, maybe screen. Okay, and we'll rename it screen. Uh, I don't nope. know. I, don't, I, I, I have done goofed. Uh, Rename, okay, cool. And this is fine, and this is fine. And now I think this is where we need to go on this misclick. We need to do yeah. nav controller. Nav control dot, dot navigate. Nav, I guess navigate, yeah. Yeah, but what do you get there? Do you get a. Yeah, just a root. Composer, navigate fine. to where? Ah, do you put the navigation list underscore list? Yeah, that should okay. work. Okay. Well, I mean, if it works, you need to extract those strings because they already give me the creeps. Dude, we're prototyping. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure, sure. When we get serious, we add like detect and KT lint and we run Android lint and all those things. Mm -hmm, but for now, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. it works. Oh, it works. It works. Great. Wahoo! Did you, did you hit back? Yes, it works. Uh, oh, back okay. Works <laughs> I was, <laughs> well, for a second, I was like, oh, no, oh, it fuck. didn't work. <laughs> No, we, we are back to the first screen. Why do we are so he hit back? Okay, nice. This is good. So let's Companion. say navigation yep. routes. Uh, does it need Onboarding. to be a companion? Well, it doesn't need to be. I'll well, just make it private for now. Navigation routes, and then we have uh, val, uh, const val onboarding and then we have a notification list notification list okay Ooh. and then we just replace this so you're happy are you happy well i'm not it's not that i'm happy it's not i'm not concerned anymore <laughs> It's more like uh, the British way of life. You know, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that it's good. It's not that bad. Okay. I like it. Okay. That's thank it. you for. Still uh, works. For, thank you for bearing with me. It still okay. Works. This is good. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, cool. I don't think we can 
like do a um, fancy animations changing not that we are at the stage where we need to worry about that but my mind is already going to how to make it nice i don't think we can do it mm -hmm. now i i just i don't know because it, it, on, usually on android uh, the nav graph nav component is also able to do uh, animations yes, like very quickly like the just drop an extension that yet ah okay 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 because it's alpha More fair enough. something so <laughs> okay, Let, uh, so let's yeah. give it cut it some slack oh yes i said mm -hmm. that we need to change something here and this here. is so, so you remember at the beginning where i was saying that composables uh should not uh depend on state uh well now this one mm -hmm. depends on state which is needs notification permission mm -hmm. is a state mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so something we can do is to make well we we should make this like um a stateful uh stateful thing and the way you do that in compose is uh, var needs uh permission mm -hmm. by um remember i think remember Okay. I think it's remember, probably. And then you do stuff in there. And, and I then... think this would be that. So. Okay, obviously I forgot something. There's no method. Ah, it's a var. No, it's, you need a val. Yes. No, 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 no. You need uh, at the beginning. Uh, I know, I the. Know. the Okay. Mutable state off, I think, maybe. Uh, and then these okay. needs to go into remember. Uh, but I don't remember. Okay. Somebody's saying imports. Yeah. Remember. Imports? What do you mean? There's something. something imports. I get value get. and set oh, value. I just check the documentation. It's easier. <laughs> Uh, also that state. managing state yeah, it's like using remember um well introducing state whatever that's uh by remember mm -hmm. mutable state of okay so it's just a matter of so uh, it's not uh yeah you need a I mean, parenthesis and not curly braces around mutable state of oh right I guess. Ish. Maybe. Uh, kind of. What is it actually I'm complaining trying. about? Uh, has no method get value. Uh, okay, somebody's suggesting import compose runtime get value. Oh. They haven't fixed this yet. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Thank you. Um, oh, that's that's hard. Yes, they okay. haven't fixed this yet. This is actually something that uh, back in December when I was playing with Compose for Desktop, uh, it was something that was annoying me to no end. I, I, I was looking at it. I was like, it's OK. It looks the same as in the examples. Why doesn't it work? And the problem is that because these are extension values, uh, extension pro mm -hmm. uh, functions, uh, they're not okay. imported automatically, so that doesn't work. Uh, and that's something that okay. I think the, the Android Studio team is aware of, but um, they haven't fixed it yeah, but now, yet. Now, uh, now we are also aware of that. Possible, yes. Uh, the thing is, the thing is, that's the initial state. Uh, how do we mm -hmm. change the state when, uh, like, ideally in on start, we need to refresh the state, right? Like, okay, yeah. Because otherwise we don't... Ah, now I see why you, you didn't change it, because that's a var, okay. Yes, uh, but that's mm -hmm. not going to work. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, remember, by default, does not uh, survive configuration changes so okay uh which is fine in this case because we need to recheck anyway so it's 
cool. I think there's a specific version of remember, um, remember saveable is the one that, you, you know, if you, this does the Eventually own saving state on restore instant state for you. Hmm. Okay. So That's just cool. FYI. Uh, now I don't know how to do this. You mean refresh the value? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I have no clue. Like uh, modify internal state in a composable. Now where is it? I do. Can you do know. like a? Um. <clears throat> uh, what do you want to check the documentation? I mean, maybe there is an example or something. Let's see, but I'm not entirely. Sure. But so there is like a modify interactions. Uh, no window insets, no screen size changes. Ugh. Architecture and state source of truth. No view models in compose. If I search for life cycle, uh, no. Wait. Mm. Life cycle and side effects. I think maybe we need We're starting to like yeah. effects, but I, I've never used them, so I don't know what they do. All right. State and effect use cases. Okay. Enter the composition. Well. You need to make changes to the state of the app. You shouldn't use the effects API, but we don't need to make changes. Mm. We don't need to make changes. Remember coroutine scope. Okay. So this is the yeah, fancy coroutine. either. No. Uh, but so. We need to update our remember, basically. That's yeah. the idea, right? Yep. Uh, uh, you shouldn't pass a lambda. So you mean here? To the composable. Yeah, in, instead of this. Y yes. Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, like we are doing for the on-click, kind of. So like this instead, mm. and it will be recomputed every time, I guess. That's the, the idea. Uh, this is obviously this. Okay. And I need to change this to that. <coughs> and needs permission like that that could actually work yeah. um, i don't know we still have something yeah so but then we we dropped the whole remember thing yeah i don't think so we, we need that anymore uh, yeah we don't need it anymore it's not, well i guess it's okay. not internal state it's external state so whatever um okay Okay, let's see if this works. Let's uninstall the app. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I like the on click. I get it. And see how that works. So give us access. Tuck. Sure. Tuck. Sure. Tuck. Sure. Back. Go back. Back. No, it doesn't. Oh, come on. Well, we're, we're, we're not doing. But do we? Because the, because the, we the whole set content is done in the on create. So the thing is, it doesn't yeah. know that this has changed. We need to tell it somehow yeah. that it needs to recompose. Uh, and I well, can, don't know. Can you force the set content on start again? You know, like, because now the set content is done only in the on create. So uh, I that's don't it. Think it is do done it basically once. Twice. But. Uh, but. Parent content. How would you do blah, that? Blah, blah. The view. Roughly. Equivalent. But if I. Do 
I don't want to do set content because no, no, no. But I mean, but how I to trigger or recompose here? And I'm not sure how you search do that. Search for compose, recompose. Thinking in compose. Mm. Recomposition made easy. Thinking in compose. Dynamic content. Dynamic content. I don't think this actually. Blah blah blah. No. Re recomposition. This is not useful. I've looked at this already. No. Uh, How to force Jetpack Compose to recompose? The fourth one. Ah, uh, good one. Da, 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 da. Okay. Blah blah blah. I don't need the, the question. You can't force a recompose. Oh, pause. So you need a state. So that's the the thing. Um, well, we can close this for now. So we do. How do we do state? What? How do we do the so state to, thing? To do that, this would have to change. Like a live data thing, or. Well, I think it makes more sense if you have like um, uh, observable. If you have a view something. model, it's easier. Yeah. So let's but how do we do, do a view model, model with? Yeah, how do we do view model with compose? Uh, well, like the normal way. Model normally. Okay. Uh, you are in the activity, my friend. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't even want to do outside the activity. <laughs> Dude, I just want to see if it works and then I will move it. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I'm, I'm just giving you shit without reason, no yes. problem. Um, Stop it. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, you're no, always no, talking no, to no, Android Studio now. No reason to get mad, man. We are all friends here. Are we? By the are way, we? <laughs> are we? By the way, Carbayo, you were wrong so no, it that's was it. probably that's right it. and we were probably no wrong. it was totally right but <laughs> but this is what happens when you are in a toxic uh, team you know you point fingers and blame people this is blame culture 101 oh so um, we're teaching that as well yeah <laughs> no we are actually making fun of that kind of bullshit you know we love you Carbaya, no problem just kidding um uh you have a function, but you need a context, yeah, right? Yeah, I need a context. Uh, I guess I just YOLO it. Yeah, come on. I'm just I'm just gonna keep it quiet now, eh? See, you see, this is how much I love you. Passing the context to a view model, just just yeah. Lint is already upset about it. <laughs> I mean, this, no, this field leaks a context touch. I mean, right away. Uh, I mean, no mercy for the wicked. Come on, make it a function. Yeah, yeah you can do it. Actually, I appreciate the lint error. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time that I see. Because you never fuck up. Is that what you're trying to oh. say? <laughs> that, that also true. But no. But actually, I'm serious about this because I. <clears throat> I recently saw a screenshot of a view model with a context passed and there was no no warning. So either it was an old version. I don't think it's on IntelliJ. Um, let me rename this because otherwise it's the same. Uh, conflict. Yeah, naming is hard, and when you're rushing it, it's even harder. It's super hard, man. It's super hard. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Looks good. Yeah, um, I will actually move. The, no, no, move uh, up a level. Yes, sure, whatever. Context Tick. this. Tick. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is probably also be internal. Okay. You know, eventually, uh, at some point, I changed the um, the template in IntelliJ because I wanted, like, when I create a file, I want it right away internal. That's not a bad idea. Because the... no, actually, I was like, I, I yeah, I'm, I keep, I keep writing internal, internal, internal. I need to know if there is a way because at some point I was like, yeah, I mean, there is a template somewhere when you want to end and actually there is a template and you can change it. 
So what do we do? We pass the view model to the composable. That the, here it gets a bit weird for me. Mm, no, it's not that. How oh, the fuck did you do it? Managing state, view model and state. Ciao, Florina. Um, <laughs> where, where was it? <laughs> there's a Florina here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> because I, I, because I'm lagging behind, so I just saw Florina for a split second. I was like, what the fuck? Jesus, I didn't see you scrolling. I was like, whoa, that, oh my God, uh, this is not good. Um, so, okay, how, what do you do? So, so do you have a, and then this, you, oh, you need to specify the type, I guess. Yeah, but you just like, ideally you just want to pass the, the view model, right? So it's the, yeah, but I clearly but imported you, the wrong thing. Yeah, I think it's just the import the or it? it's, the absence of the import. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what? <laughs> can you just okay. delete? Sorry, it, can you delete a couple of? Um, can you delete a couple of uh, letters and try to do the import again? I usually have. Yeah, this okay. one. Okay, now it worked. It was just very confused by life and things and everything. Yeah. Um, and obviously, um, this also means that we can move these ones. Theoretically, to the view model. To the view model. Um, mm -hmm. Later. But later, because these yes. both require, like, this needs the navigation controller and this needs the context. So, yeah. eh, eh, so but eh. how does it work? So you are passing the view model to the composable. Yes. So now, now I'm. Uh, I need. Uh, I need Compose a moment. Will handle the life cycle for you essentially. So you pass the view model as a mean to provide um, life cycle awareness to the composable. Yes. I'm trying to understand why it was complaining about this. Um, I don't know. Whatever. The thing is here, obviously now these will be entirely tied to our view model that actually checks shit. So the preview is mm -hmm. not going to work anymore, but we're going to fix it later. I think probably, maybe. Yeah. Allegedly. But I, I'm um, curious about understanding how do we do the how the data flow works, right? Because now the... So now we need to do, we need to get the state, uh, state from the view model. From the view model. Um, I think it's view model, view dot model dot state. Dot. We need to create a state, that's fine. Uh, well, actually mm -hmm. it just needs permission. I'll just move that there. Oh, come on, man. Let me think how it I mean, there is a function. Yeah, yeah, I know. But the idea is that you generally, in the view model, you create um, a state a live data. that is like a flow state. or a live mm -hmm. data or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we need to create it. So let's create that mm. first. Thank you. <laughs> wow. That created it, right? Uh, uh, well, yep. State. Look, look, look. It's creating uh, under your eyes. Well, look, look, look. How is it creating it? It's live. It's typing it's it. It's even making typos, you know? <laughs> yeah, like this. It's giving you. Well, they, they make real typos because we, <laughs> we know right? that they cannot generate code, unfortunately. Oh, uh, well, I So. It needs to do. How does. Like, flow of. Uh, create. Uh, private yeah. val state flow of uh, true, Another one. I guess, okay. and then this instead of being this, this is actually 
um, check if needs notifications permission. Um, sure. So that in the main activity in on start, we can do view model. Oh, we need a view model. Fucking hell. Uh, I don't know to do that, but for now, let's, let's assume it's fine. Uh, do, 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 do. So in your onboarding screen, you do state dot, uh, there's something collect, collect a state. Collect a state. Oh, it's something just from yeah. the composting. Ah, initial faults. What are we emitting? That we are okay with the permission, I don't know. or I we just, need I'm the just permission? I'm random shit there for now. Okay, well, fine. So that's the best shit. Yeah. State uh, so state I created it as a something. For now, I'm just gonna be a bit less of a, of a shit and create a data class. Mm -hmm. state, <laughs> nah, what am I doing? Uh, Val needs permission, not a runtime permission. No, no runtime permission. No, yeah. Google, no. Okay, Just stop. and this is uh, state, state of false, false. For now. And this is... No, no, paint style, no, no. I'm stylish, you know? Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, um... so now in the... Uh, we can close this for now. Notification on board, onboarding screen. Yes, this is now. So what do we have here? Value. I think. State dot no. value. Oh yes, I need Has to. Has no matter. Okay, state by. What oh, was it? Oh. Because that gets you the value directly, you know. Ah. It needs. Okay. Uh, no. Uh... Or not. What's the type? here any whoa okay oh wait that's that's why um i initially state false okay okay now this should work yes okay give you perfect okay okay so now this is we have we have as you say hoisted the state of your model um hoisting the state means taking the state out of the composable and uh just expressing mm -hmm. it with uh from from a parameter a dependency that you yes. inject into it um the problem is that we have made it nice but we still mm. like we need to can't update yeah to get this so this activity how do you normally create a view model for this um let's say for now we're keeping all the view models in memory because we are lazy yeah i mean because the, the next thing is coin but then yeah but do, then, how do you use it but how then do you Fabio use with compose doesn't help us anymore <laughs> yeah i mean we just draw we just lost a follower so it could be a nice opportunity to learn healed why not yeah, i mean we are be. we are not learning enough shit in this that stream right uh, do you just do this and then how do you, how do you bind it to the to the life cycle? I don't for, I don't remember this shit even. I don't do it uh, as much. I, I never do it like this. There is a, like a factory. Uh, I don't do it manually. Do I do it? Tell really me. Tell me. I do it. A coin is doing it. So oh, I'm you're useless. For... No, I'm not useless. I'm lazy. So I have <laughs> tools. I don't do things manually. I mean, who does that, right? I mean, really? Who, who the fuck is... Cre but, I mean, if we have one activity. Probably if you keep it there, if you create it, the activity is going to be there. It won't die. Yeah, but I... Well, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, you create a view model. It works like that. I don't know how does it does... View model... Is there a view no, model factory? I mean, yeah, but then you have factory. I don't know. And then well, and then what? Whatever. The, I don't care for now. It's I, I don't know. <laughs> you I model. Don't know. Charles, in this case, Charles God. Uh, How do you do it? view models? View model. Oh no 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 view models. There is like a lambda called view models. Probably you can use that. Uh, what what do you mean? There is, if you type view mode, there is like a lambda yes. and there is a factory producer. Oh, Could that's it be? How you do it. Okay, fine. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just view model, model class. 
I don't know. Well, for now, let's just do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Use hilt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> we're not setting up hilt on the first day. <laughs> we're setting up hilt maybe on the second or third day. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just like almost three hours. So I don't want to deal with dependency exactly. frameworks right now. Uh, and this should actually uh, make it work. Yeah, and worse <laughs> at the same time. Oh, I need to uninstall it okay. and rerun Let's it. Try. But how do you feed the, no, still um, fucked. the flow? No, but because you're not feeding the, the flow with the new value. Right. Um, so I think you need like a shared flow or something like a subject. How do you do it? Because you need to emit something in the state yeah. from outside. Mm -hmm. So you need a shared flow mm -hmm. or sort. I don't know. No, I think it's a, like a mutable uh, shared flow, like um, um, uh, capital letter. Yeah, but there is no such thing. No, no, no. It's like uh, capital letter, oh, mutable okay. shared flow. Shared. Yeah, here you go. And now you can actually. So you can just use the state flow, I guess. The state flow. I don't know if you can inject. Yeah, I yeah. guess. Mutable yes. State flow. Yeah. Oh. Whatever. State flow. Then you use state flow as a state exception. Okay. Thanks. Let's try. Let's try. Extension. There is a. State flow. Yep, and I guess there is like a... this actually needs to go in the uh, state. Naval. Dot it's like emit this. No, because this is SB suspend. Yeah. I guess emit. But you can do try, try, try to emit. You don't need to suspend anymore. Try emit. Okay. But I, but I don't know if it's because it's trying, but I don't know if it's succeeding. <laughs> uh, I have just poured myself a beer. Oh, Cheers. Mark. Uh, joy. Enjoy, Mark. Enjoy. Uh, Stay might start doing bed. the same soon. <laughs> well, actually. They are suggesting state dot value instead of state. Uh, Where? Try instead of try emit, try dot value. Okay. Uh, Equal to. Okay. Okay. Works for me. Thanks. The current value of this state flow. Ah, like like a live data kind oh, of thing. Nice. Okay. That's very nice. Thank ah. you, Kotlin. It's also thread safe. <laughs> Fuck me. That's good. Okay. I don't want to see the the lar the dark magic that is behind that stuff. Uh, yeah, that dot I just trust value. People that are smarter than I am that did it, well, and it's probably for working. Sure. <laughs> Go open source. Okay, uh, so this let's... should work. This is like live data. Oh, that's great. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, and this uh, should uh, it does collect that state. Let's see. Okay. Give us. A Right. Click it. Click. Ta? Click. Ta? Click. Back. Back. Yay! Yeah. We have an onboarding screen. Yay! So fancy. Oh, super. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now we are missing the splash screen, but that's for another day, I yeah, guess. Yeah, the, the splash screen. Uh, but... I, I, I think we can very quickly, very hackily do the notification list thing list yeah yeah let's and then do the notification we can call it a day probably yeah people are celebrating us wow you are so nice thank, thank you thank you thank you everyone um <clears throat> notification listener no that's the service 
Oh, well, we will need to bind to that service, I guess, to get the data from it. At but... some point, yeah. Uh, well, at some point soon, really. <laughs> at some point, at some point, like the next thing to do. Yeah. Uh, so let's. So the composable, create... like, how do we want to do it? Do we need another view model? Yeah. Do we want to do? Okay. Uh, this view model, which is a view model. Okay. And um, I think let's keep them in the same file for now. So it's easier to understand yeah, keep it simple. what's going on. So the notification list screen obviously needs a view model. Mm -hmm. I need. I, I still. I still need to wrap my head around passing the view model as a parameter to somebody. But uh, but it's this okay. one I'm does getting... all the magic for you, and it's all you need to care about. It does yeah, life I'm, cycle. I'm getting... It does things. Whatever. Don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, in this case, we need the notification list view model. Uh, needs to have like well. To access the service yeah, somehow. Uh, how do you want to do to service which is going to be called uh, with a context I guess yeah enough and we also need a disconnect from service because we are nice people <laughs> well because we don't like memory leaks um, <laughs> Straight in the face. <laughs> this co this value is <laughs> leaking a context. Yeah. yeah, yeah, come on. Exactly. <laughs> come on, Android Studio, cool. Um, and then we need to get okay. the we need like a, like a another state thing, which I guess I'm just gonna copy this for now. Um, mm -hmm. Data class state. Let's put it down here and is. Uh, Notifications. Notifications. And there's a list of. For now, it's just strings, whatever. Okay. Um, fair enough. And then we need the. Same. Whatever we can get from the service, actually. Yeah, but we can pass whatever the fuck we want, I guess. Uh, okay. And then it's this. Okay, so now it's con. It's not onboarding view model state. Yeah, I'll change it. And it. Find okay. The service okay I, I don't want to stress you i'm trying to help so bear with me if i i, know, I, know. I don't want to i don't want to harass you with change that i just just i'm just here you know trying to help thank you um uh, so we need bind service this needs oh, i don't remember how you do this oh, fuck. <laughs> i mean how do i mean how but, but this is the same work? thing i I, it's a, it's an intent, it, but the, the when people you know ask me, well, you you don't remember, and I was like, but you, we never do this. Yeah. I mean, this thing you do it once, okay, at the beginning of the project, <laughs> and that's that's it, and then you start drinking, and then you know you, you forget everything, and, and then you search it, and then you just search it. Service. I think it's this. And Why not? I also need to pass a what, what? service connection. What the fuck Whatever is this? Fuck I mean, is let me. <laughs> I don't remember. But you get you. Of this. What's up? I no. Come on, just check the internet. Check the internet. Uh, How do you ban some quiz? No, let me no, check the. No, I have stuff. the. You cannot see secret stuff. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Wait, wait, don't, don't, <laughs> don't do that. It's the wrong don't button again. Okay. Don't uh, do, don't do that. Yeah, I'm just going to see mean, how they do it. Oh, they have no, yeah. no, no, there's a broadcast receiver. We're not going to use a broadcast receiver, are we? Wait, wait, uh, I'm checking the. Let's see how they do it. Okay. Is service bound? Connection. Okay, you need to build a service connection object. Well, you can check it here. I'm checking on uh, on my project, so I just. But they also but they use are a using local a broadcast lo manager. Fuck off! This is cheating. This is no, cheating. no, no, no. You can. Okay. Come on, do a, create a service connection object, 
and there is a couple of How? things to override. Oh, an object, just, okay. Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you need a couple of uh, service on service connected and on service not connected. Uh, listener service connection that implements service connection. Uh, and then you have a couple of things implement. unconnected and it's connected. Okay. okay, fine. Fine. And then actually you need a binder. Uh, I think we should probably also have here like a val is connected or something. Mm -hmm. Probably not mandatory, but useful. Uh, okay, so component name. And yes, we are using Skype because apparently it's the only thing that works. No, it's. The... I had to install Skype. Yeah, the, the reason we're using Skype is that uh, Skype is the only chat pro well video call program that I know of that works in a way that can expose the the single person streams in full quality and OBS can grab them. Otherwise you would have to do like a shitty screen grab or of something from meat and that's worse. So we're all about quality people. Yeah. Ha hashtag quality. Hashtag quality. So I have in the um, on service connected here. Yeah, but then you need a local binder in the notification listener service. Okay, well, one thing at a time, I would say. Yeah. So on service connected, we don't need this shit. We need the binder. Okay, and on service yeah. is connected. The bind. So I'm just going to set is connected. I have received 100 messages today with Restream Chat. Good for you, Restream. Thank you. Oh, nice. I don't know why we would care, uh, but thank you. But I mean, you, we need to celebrate, right? I mean, you need to celebrate victories. Small ones. <laughs> um, come on, man. Okay, okay, so you have no. You have a service, the, okay? Yes, so you just... you have a a service. No, no, no. I mean, in the own service connected, you have a a service property. With that service property, you can. Uh, you can cast it to a binder, like, but the the binder has to be in the sorry one second I notification. Was something that I yeah. had done very poorly. Okay. Uh, why I don't need this anymore? Okay. I don't need these two and uh, holes. And I don't need this either. Sorry, I need to fix some shit first. No problem. Okay. Uh, bind service. This needs a listener service connection. Okay. And, and then flags. flags. Um, oh. Let's see. No documentation. I'm sure there is documentation. Oh, you can do bind auto create if you want. I have that's what what I have context dot bind and there is a no, auto I create I don't think we want to do that because the system will do that so auto bind I don't know if you have like a oh, bind something I don't care I don't it's fine Yolo. so disconnect uh, and now basically uh, what I have I have a local binder in the notification listener service and then you grab it so in the here? on service connect yes you create a, like a binder of type local binder but is this is this like a class or like an interface uh, i guess it's an it's just a it's just a variable like a a valid i i oh, okay local bind private yeah, i mean i can get service oh no 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 okay yeah yeah wait local bind local binder 
doesn't seem to I know have what it, it How, is. What, what the? I think it's Wait. a class you need to create, like an interface thing. Oh yeah, it's a it's a local binder that extends binder. Okay, it's an inner class. Okay, so. Because that's the, that's the same thing, you know. It's always the same thing. I I did it this like three months ago, and that's it. I can give you the code if you want. Uh, if you can send me, well, I don't know where you would send me shit. Wait. Whatever. I can create a gist or something. Let me create a gist, a gist, whatever. Okay. Edit. Oh, bond services overview that was useful. Go back. We need to go back. Okay. Uh, binding to started service, blah, 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 blah. Creates the bound service. Extending the binder class. Yes. Well, I could use a, a, a I D L. Yeah, sure. That would be the easiest way, I think. I haven't created an A I D L file in seven years. No, <laughs> never, never, Maybe never, <laughs> never, never, never. Uh, that's why I'm telling you, I can give you the... I can give you the gist. Uh, I'll just, I'll just do this. New direct. What is this service? No. It would be nice if there was like a. Oh, ideal. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay. Yay. Boom. This is it. Okay. Basic types. Okay. Well, I guess the only thing we need to do here is uh, to. Uh, um, I have no idea. Um, uh, we need to return like a list of things. Like a list. Of I don't even know what language this thing is. Maybe an array. <laughs> It's a what, kind what? of Java thing. See, what? Okay. Um, I'm gonna regret this, but yeah, I'm de <laughs> I don't know if we want to bet how long it's gonna take, but <laughs> I don't uh, know what don't you're know. doing. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so. Arrays. But I, I appreciate the fact that people are not oh, yelling at us in the well. chat. You can also do a list of strings. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a list of string. I like strings. I like lists. Cool. Now you need to implement. Well, we need to build. I'm just gonna build in the meantime. When you build your application, you need to generate the Java, blah, blah, blah. Generate the interface includes a stub. There's an abstract implementation and declares all the methods. Extend the generated binder. To implement the interface, extend the generated binder interface. Okay, so uh, that's, that's how I would do it from uh, here, I guess. Or maybe in the connection. I think in the connection, probably. We'll see. Uh, this is <laughs> yeah, true story. First time. I mean, I I heard about that, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay, get paid. Do I need that? I don't need that. Okay. No, because that's the implementation of the interface, so you don't have those methods. Okay. Okay, cool. Get notifications. Um, yeah, but now how do you use it? Uh, you do stuff with it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, expose the interface to oh, clients. Oh, goes in the service. Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, you know, the binder is an instance of stuff, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think, yeah, you need to put it, yeah, you do it in the service, in the service. Okay. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. 
okay and then you put it here god i haven't done this in forever <laughs> never never done it never i mean in 10 years never done it thank you Get active notifications um where dot, <clears throat> dot, uh, dot dot what where is the method ah it's What's, what, what are you calling? Where is the get uh, antigen notification? It is... Oh, wait, I need to do math. It's a method of notification listener service. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I, I should also rename this to something. <clears throat> that maybe is a bit okay. more understandable now. Um, what do you have? It? What kind of... Yeah, what do we have? The, notification dot text notification dot there's a ticker content <clears throat> no i don't even remember how notifications work <laughs> e i don't think it's text no content i think it's content but, but i don't see it not there Lit intent flags in icon level number public version ticker text visibility when uh the fuck wait what is this you know it's a notification well i mean if it's a notification it's a normal notification has a con is a content text there there must be a content text and yet because there is a content intent when you build a notification you build it with a content text with a content intent small icon and blue 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 what the fuck why there is you just get the view instead no i mean you get the content intent why would you what the fuck uh okay Time to spy what others are doing again. <laughs> yeah, let's try to. But I. So, notification listener, I think, is the service. Yes. So, on notification posted, they do create notification item, a key package name, get title, title. get title, or get title big. But that's this. Oh, it's. Uh, Okay, I know what the problem is. Um, we need to get the active notifications probably. No, it's the right thing. But get title, get text. Uh, so we have the key. User ID, group key, package name, wait, package name, SPN dot get title big. Why don't we have this method? Because what the status bar notification, why is different from a notification? Because they are using status bar notification all over yes, the place. So I don't know if it's like a system thing. It's this. Or it's, it's like a status bar notification. Okay. So. so What's the issue? I don't get... know. Tidal. If you write Tidal, what do you get if you write Tidal? I mean, I'm mean getting paranoid now. Uh... What the fuck? I don't know. Okay, I'll just, I'm just going to do this. Out of curiosity, this is a status bar notification. Does it have text? It does not have text. Title. Is it the same type of status bar notification or is there a different one? Android does service that notification. No, it's the same one in theory. Uh, sure. How does this do? <laughs> Get that shit. Uh, do they have like extension functions to do that? Uh, extensions. Extensions. Come on. Give me yes, a break. They do. The oh fuckers. fuck it! It's an extra. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, why there is no method? Yeah, that's the beauty of extension functions. 
it works on my machine, right? That's why it doesn't work. Uh, status bar notifications ex notification <laughs> extensions. People are confused on the chat. Are they? Because I am. <laughs> yeah, it's there. We we are all confused together. I don't even want to understand this stuff. First of all, why we don't have it in the standard library? Two. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look. Now we have text. Yeah. Oh, title. I'll just get the. What's title? Be? Text. I don't give a shit. Okay. Uh, this is complaining. Uh, why? Because it wanted enough. something mutable. That just, there's no reason. Why do you have a squibbly? Why there is a squibbly is line on get active? Is because I could do just. I uh, use. Ah. Oh, okay. And I mean, to be honest, okay, this could okay. be vowels. But Fair enough. I'm not gonna well, I'll it. tender. You just need to I'll tender it. Does it? It's just, just yeah. Oh, nice. Boom. Oh. I have never used this intention, but it's very nice, and I approve of it. No. Uh, co constantly, constantly, okay. because I need to, I need, I need to see if I like it more like a function or a val. So I'm constantly doing okay. alt enter control z, alt enter control z. <laughs> mm, I, I like the, I like the val more. Alt enter. Fair enough. Fuck it. Fair enough. No, it's um, like, like Adi, Adi said in one of the talk at some point was like alt enter driven development. If you work with IntelliJ, is alt enter driven development. It's very fair. I, I don't mind that. Okay, so on bind we return the binder. The binder is of our mm -hmm. type. Um, we need to cast it, I guess. You... Yeah. Um, Service as. Uh, I need to create like a var uh, binder. Which is um, how the fuck did I call it? <laughs> Notification listener yes. interface. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, and it's nullable and it's private Yolo. set. And this is not well. It's not there at the beginning. No, no, so no. I, I, I'm just kidding. Binder. I mean, equals service I... as stocazzo. Okay. Hey. Um, okay. Boom. There's probably a better way to do it, but uh, no. Whatever. Come on, come on. We, do you need the connect to and the disconnect to, or we are gonna drop them? I think we still need to connect to it because this is gonna be called from the activity, right? Uh, okay. And then we're gonna we're going to disconnect and just do service connection dot. Disconnect. Uh, let let me see how I do it. Uh, context of unbind, probably. I don't remember. Yeah. Unbind, unbind yeah. service, and then you pass the connection. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Unbind service. This should set it back to null. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Cool. Now. We have a thing to do, which is right now our state flow doesn't really do like we never emit shit into it, essentially. So, yeah, what we can do is mm -hmm. um, service connection dot binder. Um, well, Let's see in the service, we like need to emit some and do yeah. notifications. And Can you... we need to do it like on a timer. Theoretically. What do you mean on a timer? But I think the best way to do this is have a, like a refresh. Yeah, that's it. That's the that's the way we do it. Okay. Uh, so 
state equals uh, state value. I need to create a state like that. Uh, connected is true. Uh, state dot value, I guess. All right, yeah, you're right. And this is a required list. And uh, found a mutable yeah, list. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. What? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is the generator. Ouch. Shit. Yeah, the problem mm -hmm. is that. Well, cast it. Yeah, no, I mean, I can do better than that. I can just create a function here, uh, or even better. Val notifications, uh, which is a list of string for now, and get a binder, binder dot notifications as list of string. Well, what as what if it's nullable? Yeah, empty. Nice, I like it. Okay, so this is not binder anymore, it's just that. Okay. Boom! Okay, so now we will need to call this every now and then, but we can start from calling it once and seeing how it goes. Um, mm -hmm. The state is that. Oh yeah, we need to update the state uh, in the other cases as well. State, this is uh well this is gonna be an empty list anyway but empty list and empty list but not connected anymore false okay yep okay okay so well actually mm -hmm. i was thinking that it might make sense always using this because it might not be immediately um, disconnected you know you know you do you, you do bind and you do unbind but it's not necessarily true that this is immediately the case that is called immediately so you might have a mm. brief period of time in which you still are connected and you still have some data but i think this is more predictable for users to always just say okay mm -hmm. i'm not connected anymore fuck this shit i don't care mm -hmm. and fair enough on top of that instead of creating it with an empty list i'll just get the uh, the actual value why is it that okay good so that you have the initial value that makes sense Okay, and now in this screen, uh, let's do, well, let's start with a column for now. Uh, ah, now you basically, you're doing the recycle view. Yes, I'm but so there's no curious. recycler view. Yeah, I'm so curious to see how do you do a recycle view. You will be surprised. Or like a list. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to just flip the table. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm 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 just you know it's been like 3 hours that I would be we've been waiting to do a list. I'm just gonna snap. I'm just gonna snap so much so much. What the fuck we have spam on on Twitch. Oh nice. Okay. Um can I can I ban this user? Of course I can ban this user. Ciao. Well, I guess it's more like an achievement. It's the second achievement of the day. <laughs> You've banned someone? <laughs> yeah, actually, we got spam on the first stream. I mean, that's something. Woohoo! Woohoo! So, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to get... Uh, I don't want to get distracted. So, there is a for each. Lazy column. What's a lazy column? Uh, lazy column is... Uh, the essentially your recycler view. Okay. And uh, this is how you add items to it. You just create item and just put composables in there. So in this case, for example, mm. we have 
val uh, state equals uh, no sorry by view model dot state dot uh, collect a state and the initial is uh, state empty list or something right yes uh, I was actually thinking that it might make sense mm -hmm. to create an empty object mm -hmm. oh, fair enough so we don't need to repeat this lazy con not string but state and this takes an empty list connected false uh yes this cannot be const but it's fine and this i like the fact that you know before the stream you were like i also prepared the be right back uh, screen so if we want to do a a break we we have the screen yeah it's like three hours and a half fuck the break i want to code that's the attitude <laughs> that's the attitude for everybody listening to the stream this is a very unhealthy thing i advise you to have to have to breaks when you work breaks, yes <laughs> yeah take freaking way Fuck no, me! I mean, this is yeah. almost there. Yeah, no, 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 no. That, that's it. That's it. That this, this is how you actually end up at ten in the evening, still coding. Ten? Uh, that's early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ten, ten. Yeah, sure. That's uh, okay. So basically, we just do a for loop on this stuff. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna just snap. So no adapter, no no, no shit, no view holder, no, no nothing. <laughs> Fuck me. We're I hate done. this. I already <laughs> I already hate this. I already hate this. Fuck you. It's like five lines. Yeah. It took ten years. But eventually we are getting there. <laughs> I hate this shit so Th much. That's why I wanted to, to create a list because it's so bloody easy. It's so fucking easy. Fuck You're like, I mean, well, I hate it. What's, what is this? <laughs> I hate it. So what what do we do with the view model? Let's create another one. Fuck it. Yeah. Yo, yolo. Yeah. Well, we we only need uh, we only have an activity, so eventually they're gonna be there. I was actually thinking, yeah, we need that because we need to on start and stop do shit with it, but that's fine uh yes and yeah next is... next iteration we are gonna fix it in the next sprint yes absolutely we are going to make it better eventually but not today oh, oh <laughs> not today not how what do we do what do we say to quality not, not today, today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, just, I need a i need a t-shirt like serial 4 l for agile Agile software development. And how do we do it? Let's just disconnect. But then to do for to do disconnect, what do we have? Okay, so it's still context. Perfect. Yeah, and I think uh, there's various ways to do what I'm about to do, but for starters, it's going to be all mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. What what are you gonna do? Oh, geez, what do we want? Oh, do you want to pull the? the oh thing? no, you cannot create handlers anymore. <laughs> and you need Come looper. on, seriously? Uh, no, you need a looper. looper main, main. Looper, no. uh. Get main looper. Okay. Yeah. And then you need to do handler dot post. Uh, delayed. Uh, yeah, post oh, delayed. Way. Whatever. And I need to create a. What do you want to do? You you want to do like uh, you want to wait and then you want to call it yeah probably okay can i do remove everything no i'll just i need the, the runnable okay i'll just create the runnable private val reef this is red. this is the ciao have a nice evening we we'll, this is basically don't try this at all this I is mean, the way we reached it works 
we reached the the point where we advise you to not try this at home. We're just prototyping. We can make it better later. Yeah. Yeah. But well, we just want to see if yeah. it works. Uh, delay me later. You need that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's just say, whoops. Millisecond. <laughs> One millisecond. <laughs> One thousand. It's gonna be fine. No, I, I. It's gonna. It's fine. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, honey. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not. Uh, I, I'm not. Notifications what? list view model dot refresh <laughs> notifications. Um, Why it's complaining? What, what is this complaining what, about? What <laughs> Required runnable found unit. The fuck? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. I don't even. It's fine. It's fine. Let's try and run it and see how badly it breaks. <laughs> come on, come on. So let's go. Uh, we don't have. But you need to generate. So that's fine. Yeah, you need to generate the notification. Start the thingy. Okay, so let's try again. There's one. <gasps> um... No, go back. Go back. Go back. No, go it's, back. it's still generating them. That's fine. Uh, okay. I need to check. So why don't we see them? Uh, notification listener service not yet bound. What? what? Now try to restart the app. Try to restart the app. Come on. The listener disconnected for some reason. Sam is not bound yet. Okay. Why it's not binding? I don't know. Um, ma, 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 ma. Ah, probably the thing that I suggested you is not working. You know the auto, the auto bind thingy, because you were you were saying it's gonna conflict with the automatic binding thing. Mm -hmm. Did we do it? No, we removed it. No, huh? it's yeah, the bound auto create. Bind auto the is bind self. There yeah. is there any. Internal service? What the fuck is this? No. Nope. Um, but do we need to bind it? It's important. Uh, yeah, we need to bind it. Of course, it's we need to bind it. <laughs> need to bind it. Uh, I think we might need yeah, to make yeah. it a foreground service as well. Like. I don't know. Maybe not. Well, let's try without ah. and see how that goes. Okay. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, no, wait, wait. It's showing random shit because this is not our app. <laughs> yes. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I think we probably have broken studio. Yeah, we or, or something. We broke no. For, for we broke change, the service. Let me uninstall it just in case, and I will also mm -hmm. um, get active notifications, and I will just put a log here. Mhm. Mm so we can see if it's called. Mhm. Mm And this is okay. Good. Come on. I mean, before even if you don't make this thing connect to the service, I don't care. I'm gonna feed a, a, a static list with dumb shit in it. I want to see that recycle view on screen, no matter what. With even with fake data. Uh, no bubble. This is dead. Uh, this is not the right one. Okay, I'll do no filters. Bundle. Okay, clear. Uh, clicky, clicky, clicky. Thingy, thingy. Yes, thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Got an incorrect interface. From the binder. Okay, binder invocation to an incorrect interface. What? 
The what now? <laughs> the who? Um, binder invocation to an incorrect input. Ah, wait, wait, wait. There is a parcel notification something. Uh, what was? There was an error. Here? Yeah, there was like a one line above. Notification interface, but red IO interface something, you know, like uh, a couple of lines oh, this above. One. Yeah. Uh, expected enforce interface. I think we need. Wait. Oh, wait. I think we didn't need to do all that bullshit. Probably. Mm hmm. I suspect. That we could have just, mm -hmm. this. just bundled to this. <laughs> yes, probably. Well, why not? Let's let's give it a try. I uh, mean, it's it's code that we can, can can remove. Let me run it again. Oh God. Okay. Give access. So, clear. I said clear. It's already. Yeah, it was already failing, right? Yeah, it was already failing again. Uh, enable to start service oh. intent not found. Notification list service not found. Is it the oh, one wait, in the manifest? It's looking for this. Okay, no. So this was correct. What wasn't uh -huh. correct is the bind mm -hmm. thing in the service connection so the service connection wants something else i guess maybe i don't know oh no i know what the problem is it's in the service mm -hmm. we do this mm -hmm. which we probably don't need to do okay okay and then this one so you don't need the binder stub? Yeah, I just need to check what the um, what 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 actual implement what actual thing it wanted. But let's see, uh, because here now obviously the uh, service connection is expecting to get the binder of this type, which is not correct. So notification listener service. Let's try this. And, and now, yes, why? it's normal. Yeah, but now you don't have notifications. Fabio, it is normal. I has. Yeah, I need to do the the same thing that I was doing here. I guess where the fuck was it? This. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Okay. Well, I don't see errors. So that's good. Okay. Give us access. What? Oh, Jesus. Failed. Okay. Uh, Cannot be cast. Failed. Notification oh. listener yeah. wrapper. Uh, Android server what? notification listener. Android. Notification listener wrapper. Okay, I guess this is our thing. How the fuck? It's internal. It's internal. How the fuck do you even? It's not our class. It's yeah, Google's. I know, but it's Android. Wrapper. Yeah. Is this? It's I'm protected. Shown. Is that the one? What the? F Does this exist? Nope. Nope. Well, exists, but you can't read it. Do you? Do I really need to use a broadcast for this shit? Seriously? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It the last be. one that I built was a foreground service, so I really. I mean, I, I can give you the the gist, and I mean, it's working for me, so. 
but it's a foreground service. Yeah, but the problem is, I think they're just, you know, just using sending intents and be like YOLO, uh, sending yeah. broadcasts, which is not what, what I want what to if, do. What if we start the service and we feed the service with uh, uh, something like a shared a shared mutable flow that we can read from the other side. Instead of try to connect the service, we, yeah, we just use the service be, as a data source. But you mean like creating like a top level one and just dumping shit into it? Yeah, some somebody that can receive and can forward mm. us whatever comes from the service. Instead of connecting to the service right away, right? Yeah. So they seem to all use the it's... bullshit. To, like they all do the broadcast the broadcast receiver thing which i really dislike but um whatever mostly because they have to go through the system it's kind of a weird um okay so let's try to do well let's delete well i'll just comment it out for now and i will mm -hmm. companion object um val um, notifications flow mm -hmm. <laughs> um yes which i guess this actually needs to be that we need a private um notifications flow which is a, it's a shared a flow. Mutable, yeah, maybe val, mutable state flow, and mm -hmm. the list of strings. No, you, you, yeah. And then this mm -hmm. would be flow, and it is notifications flow. And that's right. What do you want? A type. It needs ah, a right. type. Strong uh, sounds like it's like a, like a car manufacturer. String. Sometimes I type <laughs> it just because I can. <laughs> sounds like a, a automotive kind of thing. Right? Strong. Strong. Mm -hmm. Seems strong. <laughs> like uh, Sang Yong. All right. Yeah, yeah. So I guess when we connect, we just value equals uh, active. Well, I, I probably still have it somewhere here. Yes, there you go. And then I need to. Well, I can be lazy for on now. Notification and we can post improve it later. And also mm -hmm. need on notification removed. This is by all means not ideal. <laughs> uh, this is, for for people uh, on the VOD, eventually later, don't try this at home. Yeah. I mean, even for the ones that are watching in real time. Oh well, I mean they, they, they are aficionados. Anyone. If they are, <laughs> if if they if they are still here after three hours and a half, they are not gonna judge us. It's probably they are just gonna you know we are on the same boat. <laughs> okay. They, they are here for companionship. <laughs> are we into the companionship business now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> oh God. It's fe fellowship. Let, let's let's pu let's put it fellowship. Yeah, okay? it let's, sounds let's, better. It sounds better. Yeah, I mean, I'm not judging. So. Okay, so we probably don't need this thing anymore. Uh, but I'll just yep, leave nope. it there, just in case for now, and then maybe take it out when mm -hmm. it's the time. Um, yeah, but this thing is, is called by the activity, so I don't want that the activity messes up with the real thing, right? The, sorry, what? I don't know. Pro, try, just run it. Uh, <laughs> Spike. We, we, are, we are almost there. Uh, just, just wait a second. I'm gonna the just dog is you. requesting your presence. Yeah, my attention. I'm just gonna give it. Go. Here you go. Here. All right. Uh, I cannot.
not do collect. Uh, the fuck do you do this? I don't remember. Uh, how do you do this? Well, you can do collect. Why can't you do collect? Not... You just need a, a coroutine scope. Yeah, I know. That's kind of. But you are in a view model. You have it. All right. All right. You have a view model scope. Something. Something. Oh, here you go. Launch. YOLO. Okay, and then yeah. this goes here, and this is it. Literally, it is it. Nice, I liked what you did there. Uh -huh. Okay, so this could probably, possibly, maybe, potentially work. Uh, yeah, eventually. Maybe. Um, I guess this is fine. Like, the only thing I was thinking is that this uh, will last more. But we don't need to do connect to service in the first place at this no, point. Right? No, I guess we can just simplify that. Yeah. Uh, because the service is just going to start by itself. Yeah. So I will probably just remove the connection stuff. Yeah. I will only subscribe to the service uh, flow, and that's it. Yeah. So we can do. In it. <laughs> well, we start. We still need to do like uh, fun start. Uh, observe. observe or was something like or that. Whatever. Yeah. It's for for now. Mm -hmm. It's okay, and we do this. Right. Yep. Uh, but how do we stop that coroutine? It stopped automatically when the. Yeah, when you kill the view model. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't it's want this to observe while the screen is not active. Right. There's no point. Yeah, but if yeah, but then it's a problem for another day that's because then true. you really need the for. That's you really need the foreground service for that, mm. because if you want to clean the app. But you still need the stuff to to work behind. We need a foreground service, mm. so it's. I mean, I don't think we can get away from there. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but that's. I'm not even entirely sure that we need that, but whatever, we'll see. Like in the sense. It well, is... don't you don't you oh. don't you like the to well, have the I icon think, in well, the. No, no, no. The main thing is we will need a foreground service that. Um, writes this shit to a database <laughs> more than anything else we will need room yeah probably there's room for yeah. a database uh, i will punch oh, myself up. in the face for that uh, shut up i mean after the after this i will do everything to do it with the sq delight fuck you uh, i don't i don't I mean... have any horses in this battle i don't care okay let's so, see so uh there's 49 have notifications. and it doesn't find any of them come on wait no this is not good. this is the this old stuff can you can you check uh can you print something on the observable but uh, have you start observing yes uh okay notification listener connected and let's see if it Actually, he's already post. he's already bind. It doesn't. But seem... it was working, so. Yeah, I don't know. It was working, so we we broke we broke the the service. Yeah, but it's not doing anything now. It's just saying it's connected or it's not connected, and it's just doing this, right? It's just getting the active. Can you? Yeah, but notification posted is not printing anything anymore. Yeah, so this is not called. Well, you removed the unbind. Do we need the unbind? No, because we don't have a binder anymore. We don't okay, bind. Fair enough. We're just yoloing the shit out of this. Mhm. Mm and it's not working. It is not working. Damn it. Uh, but now we have this notification. Um, boop, 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 boop. Well, uh, we can't even. Uh, revert because we don't have a git <laughs> well there's a local history so, that... so that's fine uh, uh -huh. but fair enough um 
I actually want to see if you ever if we ever get this shit and if if that's the problem. Mm. Uh, no, I need to debug, not to run. Yeah, but we didn't get any... Okay, so we get there, so... because the view model is built. Okay, and now it's doing something. Are we not observing okay. the state? So notifications is empty. Okay, because it starts empty, that's fine. Oh, he's getting there. Uh, Notification 51. It's getting there. Okay, so it's getting no, but... them. It, that's working. So I think the problem is somewhere here, probably. Yeah. And I, let's see. So. Let's see when we get to the lazy column. Um, okay. So. This is not. Notifications. Uh, well. Can you add a state? Variable, please. Hmm? There is a state variable there. No, I love to observe it because, yeah, I want to see what's state inside. State is not captured. State is not captured. Uh, okay. Fuck me. Uh, okay. But if I How does at least work? no. Okay. Go for it. I mean, we know it gets cold, so we don't need the debugger. Uh, we do need logcat though. And uh, fetching up the active configurations. There you go. Ah. And now it. <laughs> and now it works. Yep. Go figure. Well, I mean, I mean. It's composed, right? It's still part of the whole computer size industry. And as you know, computer size is a, a deterministic science. So, yeah. but I'm fascinated by, oh no, come on. Are you kidding me? What? You can do a card view like this right away. Boom. Yeah. Fuck it. I hate this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, this gives me flutter PTSD. I think of it as flutter, but in Kotlin. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you see, boom, stuff, boom, stuff. Fabio is saying you can use this extension items notification instead of auto for each. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The I know, reason. I know, I know. Uh, I just wanted to show the simplest possible thing right. that we can do. But uh, yes, Fabio, you're absolutely right. Um, as usual, I will say. As usual. Fine. TP. <laughs> <laughs> And uh... <laughs> that was, I, I was actually looking at the notification. I was like, what the fuck with this notification? Then I realized it's Loref Mipsum because the thing is just printing stuff. You know, yeah. the generator is just it's generating <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's generating. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? Oh no, even it's just Loref Mipsum. It's just that it's like four years that you are doing this. So, um, okay. Pro in Vita. But this is cool. So yeah, three hours, never done compose before, never done notification service before. And we have a list of notifications. Yeah. We have an onboarding that uh, shows even when it shouldn't. And, <laughs> no, <laughs> and well, stuff. I mean, <laughs> we we actually went for the, 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 the heavy stuff because we also go to settings. We go back. We need yeah. to do a bit of state management. We don't have the dependency management, so we are gonna we are gonna add Hilt in the next section <laughs> uh, okay. because why not? We can remove this, and yes, as Fabio was saying, actually, you don't need the four stuff. You can just do the items. Uh, there's a yeah items here. Just pass it the list. 
Uh, What's it's, items? It's the same thing. Where, where the, does it? This. Where do you get the items? It's like a function for or what? What do you mean? Ah, it's uh, no, it's from compose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, okay. Uh, it's compose. Yeah, because I, w I was mixing up with, you know, is, is it a coroutine thing? No, it's a compose thing. So, items, state notification filter. Yeah, this is the same thing. But the idea is that now, like, you have different ways to do things. And then, like, if you wanted to have, like, a header, you would just add the header. And then you do style material feed. h1 something something maybe not h1 because that's gonna be huge but typography well but for a title mm. h h3 two, three, i want to say h3 yeah it's good enough oh, nice and when you scroll is it scrolling all together or is scrolling just the items it's scrolling out of curiosity the whole thing yeah it's it's a it's a header like it's just a line i'm just adding a, an extra line just to show you how it's easy how it's easy to mix so, different things so you so you just build a multi type recycle view in 10 lines yes can we stop the stream now please <laughs> because i don't I, I, need, I need to walk the dog I mean, right away, I need to walk the dog in sure. the woods, yelling absolutely. very, very, very loudly. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's do that. Fuck me. <laughs> cool. I mean, are you, this is unfair. Are you happy? This is unfair because <laughs> now I want to I want to use this shit for everything. <laughs> this is this is I mean, I, I right now I hate you so much. I hate you so much now. You hate because me. I was ready for all oh, the thing is not ready. Roberto is just full of shit. You know, it's like just a, that might also no, be and, true regardless. <laughs> but, that's, but that's on the other. I mean, that doesn't relate to to compose. I mean, but there's still actually... stuff that is not there, as we've seen, like navigating yeah, yeah, yeah. between screens is not like it works. It's easy to set up, but you cannot really do trans transition animations and stuff like that. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... But jokes aside, if you need something right away, if you, if I think about every code challenge that we have done in the last ten years, oh, yeah, everybody yeah. was always everybody was always like, yeah, you just fetch a JSON from GitHub and put it in a recycle view, and that thing, even the the easy stuff, it takes you like four hours just to to build the the, the whole. But this is like ten lines. So in uh... this. December, when I was trying to compose for desktop, uh, that essentially <laughs> knowing, knowing almost what? nothing about oh, compose but... at that point. So using something in alpha on top, well, in pre alpha on top of, of something that at that time, I think was still in alpha. So like the unready on top of the unready, it was still yeah, yeah, like creating, Cowboys. creating a desktop application that downloaded a JSON from JetBrain server and shows like the list. It's a big JSON that contains all the products that we have and all the versions and all the download links and all that shit, just because to, to try it out. Um, uh -huh. I, I created an app with uh, like a side scrolling bar and a main content. So like two things and you get all the list of the IDEs on the, on the left hand side and then you click one and it shows everything on the right hand side. Uh, it tells you like so master that, slave funnel. Yeah, yeah, okay. Master, uh, well, this detail I think is the the correct term. Yeah, let's say uh, let let let's let's say master. Yes, no, don't. The, don't. Um, don't. I apologize. Um, okay, I think uh, I think <laughs> this is really. How about? How about performance? Now I'm I'm wondering how about view recycling and that shit. How does it work? Just as a, from a theory, it's called the from like a theory point of reason, view. it's it does it lazily. Yeah, that was the hint. That's why I asked. <laughs> you know that that. Okay. So if you do, wow. if you do a normal column, it's like having a vertical linear layout. If you do a lazy column, 
then it does all the recycling for you. Because essentially, like recycling is a hack in the view framework because the view framework mm -hmm. is, is technically eager. So the recycling is a thing that has been, been built on top of the view framework to avoid having to, to, to create to, views to calm it down. and you know, but the, the thing with Compose, <laughs> as, as we have seen, Compose only recomposes the stuff that it needs to. And yeah, if it doesn't, like if something is not on screen, it doesn't need to compose it in the first place. So it only starts composing and recomposing items when they are displayed. And it's essentially the same thing as recycling, but without heavy objects, so without the views and without the need yeah. to create like a whole giant castle of things uh, around that. So yeah. that's like recycling stuff in Compose is relatively easy. Yeah. Because, because you don't do it. <laughs> you you have nothing to do with it. I mean, you just build the thing. Let, let's let's yeah. go back one second to the um, to the lazy column. Out of curiosity, how much shit is it? Uh, okay, it's a lazy That's... list. Yes, yeah. this is it. This is yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, it's a hundred lines of code. Yeah. Because you, you can yeah. subcompose things and just say, oh, I want like this scrollable thing and just compose things in this specific region, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know the details. I haven't really. Yeah, of course. Of course. Like I, I don't expect extrapolating it to... from what I know, which is not much. Um, but yeah, you have this like lazy measured item, whatever. Yeah, but just the, the idea of everything, you know, marked as lazy gives you the, the idea that per performance has been taken in consideration because we don't want to do the same mistakes of the eager evaluation that we had in the past. So even yeah. the naming gives you like, you know, a sense of comfort say, okay, this is lazy, you know, it's postponed. If it's not necessary, they don't do it. It resonates so, with me. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Uh, this is actually, this is actually very, very, and then somebody <laughs> in the chat, they were saying, once you try Compose, you don't want to go back to the old way because, you know, I mean, I have been teaching this a couple of our uh, viewers, they were my students, and I have been teaching the the recycle view. We did the recycle view, and they were like, "Oh my god, the adapter was a nightmare. The view holder was a nightmare." And then they wanted to scroll the whole view, and then we had to introduce the um, multi-type recycle view, and the whole thing just went ballistic. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh my god!" And, <laughs> and they were like, oh, "What? How, how is it?" No. And then I was like, "You know, people. Eventually, you're gonna be familiar. You're gonna write uh, the adapters like you know, just drinking coffee." But this is this is actually. But just this as is they get serious. familiar with it, they can just forget about it and do compose instead. <laughs> Yeah, true. I mean, ho I hope for them. <laughs> I hope for well, all of us. <laughs> so, I mean, jokes aside, we we saw it with Kotlin. We saw it with Kotlin. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a transition. There is going to be a transition time where, you know, a few companies, they are going to probably try to experiment with a hybrid code base. And eventually, yeah. you know, everybody's going to be on Compose. And if you are working on legacy stuff, you're going to be on the old stuff that we it will be never, uh, never changed. But the idea is that we need to do it. You know, uh, we need to look at this thing because this thing is the future. So I'm very happy and I'm very pleased. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the 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 misstep was with the padding thing that I almost lost my shit with the padding <laughs> thing. But you know, you, we recovered very easily from the, the the padding situation, the the padding gate, and uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. We're gonna 
We are gonna have fun. Let's wrap this up. Uh, thanking everyone that has had the patience <laughs> to stay with us for essentially four hours. Um, I have had a lot of fun, so thank you, Ivan. And thank you. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next stream, which probably gonna be same time next week, yeah. same day. Why not? Uh, we might do like we might do during the week. I don't know this week, but maybe the week after that, we might do like uh, a couple of hours in the evening, yeah. like around six, seven, seven, maybe. Yeah, after work, maybe like a chat yeah. with, a, <laughs> with a tea or a beer. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Just have a beer and uh, maybe, you know, work a bit more on making those notifications uh, seem a bit less ugly. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, just uh, we'll, we'll go on. I think next time what we can do is we can try and uh and get like reorder the code in a way that doesn't suck entirely and maybe create the database and uh, dump stuff in there instead of the the huge colossal hack that we currently have in place and maybe it would be nice to maybe we can find someone that knows already a bit more about state management and all those things and uh, maybe uh, get someone uh, to show us the way instead of uh, having to fumble through those as we did today, uh, because I think that's a bit more complicated than what we did today. So I'm I'm looking forward to uncomplicate things if possible. I want to do a bit of UI. Uh, we can also look at the navigation and animations if you want. I mean, there is a lot of stuff to do. Okay. You see, cool. we have people cool. that want to help. We can have uh, a chat. Yeah. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, ping us on Twitter. Uh, I actually just noticed in the ticker that my name is wrong, that my username is wrong. So let me fix that. So we, we are we are streaming OBS. We are streaming everything. So basically, this is a. Uh, uh... <laughs> okay, fixed. Fixed, done. Ship it. Done. Yeah. It's a hot I have fixing to say product. I love OBS. It's so good. <laughs> OBS is really nice. Uh, so yeah, and maybe yeah, Hilt sounds like a good idea as well. Uh, we have something to learn. Earlier. Something to learn. Yeah, something yeah. to learn. I, I have been again, using it's coding. something I have very little experience with. I know almost nothing about. So why not? Why not? Seems easy though. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, then we we have also Fabio. Fabio is like, I mean, he has to help us. Uh, if we... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we need to get we need to get Fabio just for the the hilt. Yeah, part. just a special <laughs> guest hilt hilt master. <laughs> cool. Thank you, everyone. It was fun. Have a great evening slash day slash afternoon, depending on your time zone slash night. If you're crazy, I well, know. I mean, or if, if you're, you're watching east... us, yeah, if you're watching us uh, at a later date, uh, then enjoy whatever the hell you're doing go back to work if you're not working now <laughs> bye